Hello friends. Hi everyone. How you doing? It's good to see you. Sorry, I'm smiling, just not for like any weird reason. <laughs> just because I'm happy to see you guys. I look in the chat and I see all, all sorts of familiar names and it makes me happy. Uh, hello friends. Hello and welcome to another stream. Another Sunday. Happy Sunday. How are you all? How have you been doing? Well, I hope. Uh, Curtis Girl coming in with the 26 month resub and a 24 month streak. That is a two year streak. 26 months total. Curtis Girl, thanks for being amazing. Thank you for being a part of all this for so long now. Thank you for being an amazing part of this community. Uh, and an incredible supporter as well of what we have here. Uh, I hope you're doing great. Also, shout out to Curtis Girl. Curtis Girl streams classic EverQuest here. And uh, apparently that game is still alive and well, which I love. I love that it's getting another expansion this year. It's only like it's 20th expansion or something like that. Maybe more. I don't know. It's been a lot. Uh, shout out also to Dawn's Eternal Light, who resubscribed during the, uh, the stream starting soon screen there. Uh, for month number seven, Dawn's Eternal Light, thank you for coming back for another month in the sub club. I'm glad you are continuing to enjoy your subscription benefits, but also glad you are continuing to be an awesome part of what we have here too. Thoughts Eternal Light says, it's rare that a stream starts before I'm ready for bed, <laughs> which is ironic because I'm starting kind of late tonight. Uh, excited to maybe see more than usual this time. Well, I can't promise that there's going to be gameplay <laughs> before you have to go to bed, but maybe, maybe through some, you know, miracle, uh, maybe we will get to the gameplay sooner than, than the last few streams. It just keeps creeping back further and further. It used to be back in the day, we get to the gameplay within like 20 minutes, half an hour. And then it was like, oh, 45 minutes, an hour. Then it was like an hour and a half. I feel like lately it's been like two hours, maybe before we actually get to gameplay. That's, that's probably longer than it should be. I don't know. Of course, I love hanging out and chatting with you all. It's my favorite part of these streams, but I know people want to see the game as well. So there's that. Speaking of which, this is another combined multi-stream streaming out to Twitch, of course, but also our YouTube community, uh, and of course, YouTubers in the future, the VOD watchers, are hopefully enjoying this as well. So, shout out to all you folks, and if you are a VOD watcher and you're not really interested in all the hanging out and chatting, because I understand it's a lot less engaging after the fact, when you're not here to chat. Um, I don't know when the gameplay is going to start, but feel free to skip ahead. It usually takes an hour or more. So uh, hopefully you can find the gameplay in uh, the future of this stream. Oh my goodness, what is all this? Naga, Naga with that 31 month resub a few moments ago. Naga says, I've got no clue how I'm creeping up on three years here because time is crazy like that it just it just disappears sometimes you're like where did the months and the years go you know that you did good things worthwhile stuff but sometimes it's like man it doesn't feel like in, inside it doesn't feel like it's been all that time uh, but now I guess says my time here has been fantastic and I imagine that will continue. I hope it does. I mean, I'll continue to be here. And so if you continue to be here, then that it, it will continue. So I'm on board if you're on board now. Here's to more late nights. Yeah, I've missed the Skyrim too. I was looking and we haven't played Skyrim on stream since like mid uh, December. So like a month and a half almost, which is too long too long uh, for us to be lacking Skyrim here on the channel. Um, friend of a friend coming in with that prime sub. Friend of a friend welcome on in for what I think might be your first time 
in the sub club. Am I right about that? Or am I just making that up? I, I'm not sure. But at any, point, at any rate, thank you for subscribing with Prime. Thank you for supporting myself, this channel, this community. It means so very much to me. And I hope you enjoy your subscription benefits, friend of a friend. Um, just realized I'm not even scrolling the chat here. How embarrassing. Um, also, my nan is a microwave. My nan is a microwave. I did not miss your subscription. I see it there, and I see it is also a 12 month resub. My nan is a microwave. Happy one year subversary. Happy one year subversary. My nan is a microwave says, finally managed to get to another stream for the first time. It's because I woke up early and was not staying up horrifically late. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing, unless you don't want to be up this early. But I hope it means that you've got a good uh, sleep schedule under control. You're thriving. You're flourishing. Living your best life. My name is Microwave. Happy one year subversary. Please do enjoy your new subscription uh, badge with uh, an eagle wearing a crown. And uh, yo, burn that bee. What is up? Come on in, friends. Welcome, welcome with the raid. We just got started here. We are just getting rolling. And uh, it is so awesome for you to come join us. Thank you so much for the raid. That's really, really kind of you. What were you guys up to tonight? Come on in and make yourselves at home. Please, please, please. Um, for those who have not been here before, uh, it is a pleasure to see you. Welcome in. My name is Nick. I'm the ASMR nerd. I do nerdy ASMR stuff like tonight. We're going to be playing some Skyrim, uh, which is a classic around these parts. Uh, but all y'all should go check out Burn That Bee. Go check out Burn That Bee. Hit that follow. I don't know if we have anyone giving a shout out right now, but if not, let me fix that. It might have happened already. Shout out Burn That Bee. There we go. Y'all go click the heart over there. Enjoy some quality ASMR. It's always awesome to see other ASMR creators dropping on in, especially those who make super tingly, fantastic content. What were you guys up to tonight? What were you guys up to tonight? Darbecue, holy cow. Darbecue, thank you for the six month resub, a half year sub anniversary for you as well. Darbecue, happy half year sub. Uh, Subversary, <laughs> and I hope you enjoy your new uh, subscription badge as well. It's our boy Inigo, Inigo the Brave, wearing a very fine circlet, uh, and certainly, well, uh, <laughs> well, what's what's the term? Uh, um, I don't know. Dre I was gonna say ice up your profile, your your username. That's probably not right. I don't think I'm using that terminology right. Get that drip. Yes, get that drip. Ah, uh, goodness me. That was a lot of stuff happening right off the bat. Um, but it's wonderful to see you all. I need to go back in the chat and I need to acknowledge those who were first here tonight. Certified first. In the certified first category, we have Naga, Naga coming in, certified first tonight. Well done, Naga. Congratulations. Well earned. Very early. Bruce coming in early as well, probably thinking he was going to get the scoop on everyone else. But once again, Bruce, you have been scooped. Uh, nonetheless, a very solid and well earned certified second. Uh, and coming in, rounding out the podium tonight. Pearls. Uh, Pearls are my best friend uh, coming in with the bronze medal. Congratulations, Pearls, tonight. Uh, wonderful always to see early squad. Uh, thanks for being there, guys. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Over on YouTube, Hankwana. Hankwana coming in with a philosophical quandary uh, before anyone else was there. Congratulations, Hankwana. Rocket King coming in with a very solid certified second. And Sparrow 86 certified third. Well done. Well done in the YouTube chat. 
wonderful to see you all. Also, thank you for the follows. We have a follow from Josh Groves and one from Joe Kuhn. Wonderful to have you all here. Thank you for joining us, you two. Goodness me. Um, how y'all doing? What's, what's new with you? I feel like it's been a little while since we've been here, but it's been like a week, which is longer than usual, but it feels like it's been an age, an age. I also feel like the Skyrim music's really loud tonight for some reason. I'm just gonna knock it down another couple notches. I don't know why it seems so loud to me. Um, oh my gosh, what's up with this? D Walker has just given a sub to Hubbleton. D Walker, thank you. If anyone's wondering, that squeak was here on my end, not your end. If anyone's worried that there's someone creeping into their room or something. Uh, D Walker, that is super, super kind of you. Thank you so much for that gift, for hopefully making Hubbleton's night, and also for supporting this community and this stream. It means a lot. Very, very generous. Thank you, and Hubbleton, welcome on in. Please do enjoy your subscription. So kindly gifted to you by D Walker, and I'm here, I'm here to tap on this potato in celebration. It's tradition, it's tradition. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. I'm sorry to have put this worry in your mind. I don't know, sometimes when sounds happen on this end, you guys freak out because you're like, wait, was that, was that, here was that there because I, I know it can sound like very real <laughs> especially if you got headphones on right and melanati melanati checking in melanati with a very close certified fourth tonight certified fourth i'm gonna say uh well deserved though also melanati how have you been i feel like it's been a bajillion years since i've talked to you that's not okay. Shout out to our resident melon, queen of the melons, Melanati. Melanati says, guys, I want snacks, but I do not, or I got nothing but popcorn. What do I do? You eat the popcorn. I don't see why this is a problem. Isn't popcorn an acceptable snack? I like popcorn. Do you not like popcorn? Is this something I never knew about you? If you don't like popcorn, then why do you have popcorn? You could jazz it up, like dress it up with, I don't know, Jeff. I don't know, I'm trying to think. Sometimes we'll put like nutritional yeast on our popcorn, but maybe you don't have that on hand. I don't know, I don't know. Um, goodness gracious me. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? Tucker, Tucker demo coming in with the three gift subs tucker demo gifting subs to it's bready b to blacklit star and to rando lopez all three of you all three one two three were kindly welcomed on in to the sub club by tucker demo it's a really really generous uh group of gift subs there i hope you all enjoy your subscription benefits welcome to the potato pals the potato pals welcome to our spud Tater Tots, if you will. And Tucker Demo, once again, thank you so much for that kind gift to those individuals and for your super, super generous support of this channel. That's really, really kind. And uh, out there, making people's nights, I'm sure. <laughs> Rocket King seems upset about the yeast on the popcorn. <laughs> so it's not the same yeast that you put in bread. It's called nutritional yeast, and I guess it's a different species, or it's like prepared differently or something. But it's uh, used in a lot of like vegan stuff, um, and it has a, a somewhat cheesy, you know, like somewhere between cheesy and nutty, kind of like an umami flavor. Um, but it's just dried and powdered, and it's it's not live yeast, of course. Um, and it's actually really good. It's really really tasty. Uh, it's sometimes used in sauces and flavorings and dips and stuff like that, uh, dressings. But yeah, you can just buy it dried, like in a bag. It's like flaked, basically. It's like little flakes. 
and it's actually really tasty on popcorn or like potatoes or all kinds of stuff. It's actually it's pretty good, <laughs> if I do say so. I, at first, I was skeptical about it. This was something that Sarah introduced to me, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's really good. Uh, DBST, welcome, 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 hello, Gorog, great to see you. And Evie asks, is it bad? I forgot it was Sunday. I don't know. You know only you can answer that. <laughs> you know where you're at. Uh, I do sometimes forget what day of the week it is, though. So, uh, Best Maidens, welcome on in. How you doing? Great to see you. Shout out to both Nevi and Maidens. Awesome variety streamers uh, here on Twitch. Members of this community for quite some time. Go check them out as well. Uh, support some some friends here. Um, old coffee addict, welcome on in. Great to see you, the Bee Wizard. Thanks for joining us. Always awesome to have a Bee Wizard here, just in case we have a Bee emergency where suddenly there's bees and we have to, you know, calm them down, deal with them. The Bee Wizard can help us. PG Mango, welcome. Great to see you. Sarina, hello, welcome on in. Um, Best Maidens on a three stream streak. Very, very well done, very well done. And more to come, no doubt, no doubt. Um, oh, nice, I see that we have a moderator in the chat who is already out there <laughs> uh, laying down, the, lay, laying the smack down, laying down the smack. On some fools. Drake, it's great to see you. Thank you for for uh, watching. Uh, ever ever vigilant. Drake's always always watching. Ever vigilant. You guys gotta watch your butts. Uh, Dante Journal Light says, "I think I've held out to see gameplay one time so far." <laughs> That's impressive, actually. But you catch it later in the VOD. Okay, well, I guess that's not so bad then. But still, I feel like I need to improve on that a little bit. Uh, Sug on the Grape, welcome. And thank you for joining us tonight. Overthinks as well. Great to see you both. Churchy, what's up? Churchy says, evening, homies. Hope everyone's had a good weekend. Yeah, it's been good. It's been busy. Uh, but that's always the case, it seems. We, um, my mother is going in for a knee replacement surgery this week. And so, uh, and my dad was kind of, uh, dealing with a health issue recently as well. So we're trying to make sure that by we, I mean like my brother and myself, Sarah, we want to make sure that, you know, my mom's going to be looked after if she recovers because... Um, you know, she'll be off her feet for a while. She's going to be stuck in bed for quite some time uh, while that knee replacement heals up. But also because my you know, my dad's a little bit out of commission, so we kind of have a rotating thing we're trying to figure out here and make sure that there's someone around for my dear mother. And so we were over there yesterday getting set up in her bedroom uh setting up like a a mini fridge and a tv and like a coffee maker and stuff so that she can hopefully do like a little bit of stuff for herself but they they have a two-story house and their bedroom's on the second floor so she really is not going to be able to get down those stairs for several weeks at least probably um oh my gosh d walker d walker out there gifting another gift sub d walker what is up with that Thank you. Thank you for gifting that sub to Jaya J. Jaya J. Jaya J, welcome back on into the sub club. Welcome back to our Potato Pals. I know you've been here before. And it's wonderful to have you back. And Dee Walker, that is once again extremely kind of you. Very, very generous. And very much appreciate it. Uh, and uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you again. Goodness me. Some things I feel like, I feel like the words come out easily and other days they don't so much. Today is, 
today is a bad word day. The words are not, not coming out so easy. Oh dear, this probably means I'm not getting enough sleep or something, or something. Uh, Rango, Rango Steel coming on in. Man of Steel. Rango says, hello Nick and everyone. Final Fantasy XIV still has me hostage. Still having a great time. Story got me to cry tears of joy. What game has made you the happiest? Oh my goodness. Uh, in terms of like story stuff where I was just like the most delighted or like things where characters have said stuff where I was just like really like I laughed out loud honestly I think it might be Genshin Impact Genshin has some really amazing moments and more that I've not experienced yet because I'm not I'm not current on the story of Genshin yet and my understanding from what people say online is that it just gets better and better like the writing has been getting better but even still, with what I've played, uh, it's got some pretty, pretty amazing moments. So in recent memory, I'll say, if we're talking about what game has made me happiest from like a, like a story and characterization perspective, uh, we'll go with Genshin Impact. Um, all those raiders that came on in with Bernappi, uh, we've got Poet Team B, we've got Josh Grows. It is wonderful, wonderful to have you here. Thank you again. Um, wait, Darby Q, Darby Q, did I actually say, did I acknowledge your subscription? <laughs> did I, did I miss that somehow? I might have, that might have happened. No, I didn't. I totally, I totally did. Okay. I don't know if I had just a momentary memory lapse there for a second. Cause I saw it there in the chat. And I was like, wait, no, no, we, I definitely did. <laughs> Uh, but Darbyqo, I hope your readiness for sleep is turning into actually sleeping. Um, uh oh, burn that bee and the bee wizard are having a moment. <laughs> having a moment. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you can, you can, uh, okay, it's, it looks, sounds like, it sounds like, a, a peaceful resolution was was arrived at. I'm glad. Burn that be. Oh, I didn't realize your your uh, your name was a play on your last name. There you go. Hopefully, no bees. No no bees were harmed in the making of a burn that bee streams. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, Tucker it is wonderful to see you once again. Welcome on in. Malbec, I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, and it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Gosh. Um, where are we at here? Overthinks says, Hi Nick, I love the streams. I was so sad when you didn't go live on Thursday. I'm sorry, friends. Thursday, all well, this whole week has been very, very busy. I know that's always my excuse, but it's just the truth. I've been, I probably bit off more than I can chew at work in terms of something I committed to having done within a certain frame of time. And so now I'm kicking myself for that. And on top of which I have like outside of work work that is also eating up a ton of my time and I just need to get off of my plate. So I've been pushing hard to get that wrapped up but it's still not done, so. <laughs> uh, I just have not had much free time. But, hopefully, hopefully I will not have to cancel this Thursday's stream. I do try. Whenever, you know, whenever it's possible, I will do a Thursday stream. But, um, but just for everyone's, you know, uh, edification, so that y'all know, uh, Thursday's, I consider those streams like flexible these days, which is to say, if if I can, I will, uh, but if I can't, I won't. <laughs> so I just want to set expectations properly so that, you know, sometimes I'll be streaming on Thursdays, sometimes I won't. I just don't want people to be too disappointed, like poor overthinks here. Uh, but I try, 
I try as much as I can to do the Thursday streams. Zora Frozen. Zora Frozen, welcome back on in for month number six. Month number six. Zora Frozen, thank you for coming on back for another month. I hope you continue to enjoy your subscription benefits, such as the silly emotes, the ad free viewing, and all that good stuff. And thank you for continuing to support this community. Appreciate it so very much. So very much. Um, Kuro says, I'm not a big popcorn person unless it's caramel corn. Eh, that's fair. I enjoy all kinds of popcorn. Also, what's up, Kuro? Good to see you. Um, also, uh, hi, Jack, over on YouTube. I, I have not been, like, intentionally ignoring you. I see you over there. I just, I'm just doing a bad job of juggling the chats tonight. But hi, Jack, it is going well. I hope you enjoy the Lego Star Wars movie to the movie. Lego Star Wars video tonight, which to be clear for anyone wondering is a video with Star Wars Lego. It's not about the Lego Star Wars video game, just in case I could see how there'd be confusion there. But I, I put together a bit of Star Wars Lego. I don't want to spoil anything, but I definitely don't finish the set. <laughs> I can't all the ways into the main building the set, but hopefully you all enjoy it anyway. Andreas, Andreas Hofer says, hello, I just saw you while driving to work. Wait, are you, are you watching while driving? I hope you are safely focusing on the road, Andreas. I mean, that's wonderful to have you here, but safety first, safety first. <laughs> Aunt B, hello in the YouTube chat, and thank you for the kind words about the videos. It's great to have you with us here. Thank you, thank you. I hope you continue to enjoy the videos. Um, yo, look who it is. It's that boy, Artractive. I mean, that, did I seriously do that again? I really gotta stop that. <laughs> I don't know why I have this preconception. Anyway, it's Artractive, and it is wonderful to see you here. I said, my brain is just malfunctioning tonight, you guys. Um, thank you for the 17 month resub. I, I'm, I'm just awful. Sometimes I really need to just think before I speak. Artractive says, hey Nick and fellow potato pals, I hope you've had a nice weekend. <laughs> yes, yes, I've had a very nice weekend, aside from things just being busy, and apparently my brain is all over the place right now. <laughs> Honestly, Nick, what is wrong with you today? I was just saying earlier how the words are not coming out right tonight. The brain is, the brain is lagging. The brain is struggling. Goodness me. But, attractive, it is much better now that you are here. The weekend has improved. Hey, Anna's here too. It's wonderful to see you here too, Anna. Welcome. Uh, but, attractive, thank you. Thank you for that 17 month resub. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for uh, being an awesome, amazing, uplifting part of this community. And uh, thank you for that, all that amazing stuff that you sent as well. I need to find a place, like I said, I think I'm gonna try and get a little frame, and probably put it up on the wall, maybe there, or maybe there. But I think, uh, I think it will look rad up there. <sighs> I think I need a drink. Not a beer drink, just some hydration. <laughs> I'm gonna slow down. Which means we'll never get caught up on chat, but you know what? So be it. So be it. Um. Darbecue said my friend and I used to mix butter, cinnamon, and brown sugar into a thin paste and toss our popcorn in it. That sounds, that sounds goaded. I used to have that on toast when I was a kid, so I can only imagine it would be amazing on popcorn. Um, hey, it's Mary, crab apple bent and snap here. Mary says, hi Nick, I got my card. Oh, finally, I've heard from a couple of people in the last couple of days 
who only just got their cards, I guess you among them. And it, it just is always fascinating how variable it can be, you know, with the cards getting around the world in a week sometimes, but other times not getting, you know, across the country in three weeks. It's wild. But I'm glad it arrived and I hope you liked it. In fact, would you guys all like to see this year's holiday card? Uh, because I think most people, if not everyone, who I sent it to has received it by now. Uh, at least it seems that way. So I feel like I can safely, safely show it to you all here without ruining the surprise for anyone who's been waiting on it. Do you want to see what the art on it was? I would be happy to share it. Um, but if there's anybody out there that's still waiting on it, it hasn't arrived yet, let me know. I won't spoil it for you. Give speak now or forever hold your your card anticipation. Um who we got here? Dawn's Eternal Light says, Nick, thank you for my card as well. It arrived the other day and I was delighted to read it. Very good. I'm glad. I'm very glad that it was something that you you enjoyed. I give everyone a different message. You all get your own custom little message. Uh, and, uh, you know, I try to make it something that feels personally meaningful as much as I can. Um, and Mary says, I loved it. Thanks for the art and the message. It made me smile. I'm glad. I'm very glad. Naga says it was super kind and neat. Good. Um, I don't see anybody. Oh, wait. Serena? Okay. All right. I, I can wait. There's no rush. We can do it. another stream. Uh, I don't want to spoil people. Attractive says, I'm sad. I moved house last week. Oh, no. So it's it's not going to get to you? Aw. That is very sad. Um, well, I do have a return address uh, that I, I write on each one. So it's possible that it will end up getting returned back to me at some point. In which case, I could send it back to you at your new address if, uh, you know, if that would make sense. I guess there's no guarantee it gets back to me. It sort of depends on what happens to it when it arrives at your new place. Or your old, old place, I mean. Um, and also, yeah, it depends on where... Yeah, maybe... I, I don't know what your situation is, but perhaps they will forward it to your new address. But yes. Okay, you know what? We'll hold off on it for now. We will wait. Because it sounds like there's still a few people that are maybe yet to receive their card. So, I will not spoil it. We can wait. We can wait. Um, Garbage, you said that squeak from Sarah opening the door like 20 minutes ago. Uh, it did sound scarily like my cat getting into something. You always gotta be listening. Um, yeah, nutritional yeast on rice is good. Naga, Naga also is part of the dried fungus consumer crowd here. Gorog says, gotta work early, so I'll say good night to everyone. Now, since Nick is behind in chat, I am. I'm like a trillion miles behind. Gorog, I don't know if you're gonna be here, but uh, have a good work. Thanks for being here. And, uh, or good night and a good work tomorrow. You know what I mean? And we will see you next time. Take care. Grapple says the fridge saga is over now while I watch. Uh, I think it was Kuro who identified my next appliance arch nemesis, which is going to be the washing machine. Because the washing machine always gets unbalanced and I don't know how to fix it. So I guess that's currently my my arch rival. Um, Anna K 
came in and said, Nick, I thought there would be no live stream tonight. And yet here we are. Generally, as you know, Anna, I try really hard to do Sunday streams. I missed it last week, but most weeks I really try hard to do Sunday streams. Thursdays are a little bit more flexible, but you know, Sundays are. Uh, hi Jack in the YouTube chat says wishing your family the best of luck. Thank you. Yeah, thank you It'll be nice when my mom gets her new knee and then it's all healed up because she'll be much more mo mobile uh, able to go on long walks without pain and stuff so uh, Overwatch fanboy over on the YouTube chat. Hello Overwatch fanboy says don't feel any pressure to stream when you're busy ASMR is supposed to be chill and you can't be chill if you're stressing about responsibilities True enough I appreciate that. Thank you for the understanding and the words of support, Overwatch fanboy. It's always, you know, it's always a, a balancing act between channel stuff and life stuff, but you're right that I've always tried to maintain it so that the channel stuff, whether it's streaming or making a video or whatever, is something that I can look forward to, not something that I feel obligated to do. I think it's important for the longevity of a channel to do that. At least it's certainly an ASMR channel. Farsight Enclave Radio, what is up? Welcome, welcome. Lobster Mysteries. Tell me, what are these lobster mysteries? It's like the mystery of why some lobsters are blue. Or the mystery of why lobsters seem to be able to live forever. Uh, lobster Mysteries says, hey Nick, found you in 2018 and you're the best. Ah, thank you. That's really kind of you. Well, thank you for sticking around all this time, Lobster Mysteries. And uh, I hope you continue to enjoy the stuff that I, that I do, the content that I put out. It means a lot. Thank you. Um, Anna Canna Drive says, well, it's awesome that you're here because I have been, haven't been able to fall asleep before 2 a.m. all week. And then your semester starts tomorrow. Well, I wish you the very best with your your uh, start of semester. I know that can always cause a bit of anxiety. It certainly did for me. But uh, you know what? First couple days of class, or at least first day of class, is usually pretty much nothing anyway. It's a whole lot of like, here's the rubric, this is the textbook you need, all that kind of stuff, right? So I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I hope you get a good sleep, Anna. The Malbec says, hey Nick, I have to wake up in six hours, but I do not feel tired. Should I force myself to sleep or pull an all-nighter? I've been there. Um, generally, I will read a boring book. Uh, something that is just not that exciting or interesting. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of damning. It's not that it's not interesting, it's just they might be kind of dry or whatever. I find that really helps my mind focus in and I'm not looking at a screen or something like hyper stimulating um, and yeah I find I'll I'll start to get sleepy usually so um, uh, what's up hey what's up CMATS it's YouTube chat good to see you how you doing uh, absolutely I will see you tomorrow, see Matt's. 100%. I think I just, I just replied. I think I just sent a text. Um, <laughs> that is still the most expensive dinner I've ever had. And it's still probably the most memorable. One of the most memorable. <laughs> I don't want to say the most memorable. Just in case Sarah's listening. But it was a pretty memorable dinner. That's for sure. Um, and pretty delicious pretty special um Kuro in the twitch chat says if you put nutritional yeast on my rice or my potatoes I'm going to give you a dinner day with God <laughs> have you ever tried it though Kuro or are you just saying that just as a knee jerk response Greppel with a 15 stream streak now that is impressive now that is dang impressive. Grapples says, can't believe I've caught 15 streams in a row. 
of thief in space kind of looking glasses to really create such a modular game yep nothing but thief streams all those it's impressive and yeah, that's amazing all this stuff modded into thief garrett as a kajit pretty incredible yo what's up bradshaw good to see you welcome welcome uh chuba fett in the twitch chat says my father had a knee replacement a few months ago i would recommend getting elevated toilet seat for your mom got it it's covered we got one uh, sitting and standing up are difficult post-op. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got her, yeah, like, stuff, like, uh, yeah, like, raised toilet seat situation. Um, uh, a walker for when she starts to, you know, move around on her own again. Uh, um, we've got, what else? I don't know, a couple other sort of mobility and ability assisting things. Um, but thank you for the tip, Chuba Fett. I really appreciate that. Hopefully your dad's recovery was, uh, straightforward and, and quick. Hopefully he's already enjoying that new knee. Hopefully, hopefully. <sighs> um... Phase Beast in the YouTube chat. Phase Beast says, hello, ASMR nerd. I had my lunch break and I will watch the VOD after work. <laughs> my future self will watch this. It's true. Uh, hello, current and future Phase Beast. Uh, I hope you uh, have a good rest of your shift. Thanks for tuning in <laughs> and uh, take care. Take care. Um, yo, a whispered compliment request from Overthinks. For sure, it's been a while since we had one of those. Uh, overthinks. A whispered compliment for Overthinks. Overthinks, I appreciate your enthusiasm, especially for the Thursday stream. And don't get me wrong, when when someone says like, oh, hey, I was, you know, I missed this stream, or I was really disappointed that you didn't stream on this day. I, I take that as a, a compliment and I take that as a sign of like enthusiasm for the community that we have here and for uh, you know what I do on these streams and so it, it really does mean a lot to me it, and I appreciate it and just because I'm I go and I say oh like I'm really sorry that I didn't stream <laughs> and I feel bad or whatever it's not that you know you're making me feel bad necessarily it's just that I wish I could always stream every day that I would like to. I wish I could stream all the time uh, or whenever I want to, you know? Life doesn't always work that way, but, you know, my heart's always here. <laughs> I would rather be doing this than working on what other, whatever other junk I'm working on. So I guess all that is to say overthinks. Thank you for your enthusiasm. Thank you for being an amazing part of this community. And uh, that kind of enthusiasm and positivity is infectious. So uh, I really do appreciate you looking forward to these streams and uh, and being here as much as you know, as much as I can be here, <laughs> as uh, often as I can stream. So big ups, overthinks, big ups. Um, Tick Spring, thank you for that blood sugar check. I, you know, I'm starting to think it might be kind of low and it certainly is i was saying earlier i felt a little frazzled and the words weren't coming out right that's often a good indication that the blood sugar is low and in fact it it is uh it's pretty low so i should probably actually do something about that um and thank you for that blood sugar check over thing or um whoever just was <laughs> it wasn't over things i'm having a another mind blank here but i can blame the hypoglycemia i can blame the hypoglycemia um so dear friends i am going to go and get myself something to bump up my my blood glucose for those wondering what that's about it's because i have type 1 diabetes and i have to manage my blood 
glucose levels manually by taking insulin. <laughs> and sometimes I take too much insulin with a meal, which is clearly what I did with dinner before I streamed. So uh, I need to uh, something with a bit of sugar to raise that blood glucose up so that I can think straight <laughs> and not pass out. Uh, goodness me, folks. Um, CMS says, get her socks this if you can read this game. <laughs> Wait for her to wear? <laughs> uh, uh, Artractive asks how the new fridge is doing. It's good. It seems to be really good so far. No sign of any issues. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Fingers crossed. All right. I will be right back. We will continue our journey through the chat. I know I'm like 15 minutes behind, but we will get caught up. I appreciate y'all's patience, especially with the slow mode. I know it's not that fun to be stuck in slow mode, but I will get caught up. We will turn that slow mode off. But first, I gotta make sure I don't pass out. Cata25, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Uh, in the meantime, uh, talk amongst yourselves. Be excellent to each other, and I will be right back. One moment, friends. Really? <laughs> man can't even man can't even go and deal with this hypoglycemia without being attacked by scamps and having his chat set on fire. <laughs> Extremely rude. Extremely rude. I got these Lordag Scotus. Lordag. Lord Egg Scotus, <laughs> uh, which are apparently a mix of sweet and sour jelly candies with cola, rhubarb, lemon, and lime flavor from IKEA. Uh, shall we try a Lord Egg Scotus Scotus? I am pretty darn sure that IKEA names for things are just totally made up mumble jumbles, right? These aren't actual words in Swedish or anything, are they? I don't think it means anything. But correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, let's try this one. What do you think this is? Maybe lime? Not sure. Let's see. Definitely lime. Very tasty. And what do you think about this one? I don't know. 
we're gonna find out. Cola. <laughs> but sour cola. Which is kinda weird. I feel like cola flavored candies are normally sour. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that will raise my blood glucose and the words will come easier. Uh, Tucker Demo, you are enjoying a Canadian craft beer. Excellent, what kind, if I may ask? Is it one I've tried before? Funny enough, but actually sipping on a Canadian craft beer right now, but I really hoped that it was going to change it into a Canadian craft butt or butt craft beer. Didn't quite nail a butt spot. Um. Okie dokie. I'm trying to. Okay, okay, we got to the part. I've got to the part where we we're talking about uh, people not having received their cards yet. Um, Serena says mail was delayed last week because of ice and snow. So who knows when it'll get here. I see. I just don't want to spoil anybody if you've been waiting on it. I want you to be able to see it when you pull it out of the card or the envelope, right? Anna says, I don't need a letter, but if you could send me a scamp, preferably in a glass jar, that would be great. <laughs> That'd be a big glass jar, because scamps are actually like, fairly sizable, you know? Fairly sizable. Either that, or it's like blended scamp. You know, just all whipped up. Like scamp puree. <laughs> uh, our attractive society is very kind, Nick. I would hate for you to have to do that, but we shall see if the new tenants return it. I hope they do. Well, if they get your note and they send it along to you, let me know. If not, I'll keep an eye out for it in a few weeks in case it ends up coming back here. It would be sad if it got lost, lost out there somewhere. Blue pill, we can cozy up in this, yes. Look at that. Tick spring 15 minutes ago was like, maybe blood sugar level is a little low, causing stumbled speech tonight. You are 1000% right, Tick spring. That is exactly what was going on. And that is why you requested that blood sugar check. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. You'd think I would be better at managing this by now. Sometimes, though. Sometimes, especially if I'm like focused on other stuff, I don't always pay attention to myself the way I need to. Oh my god, Tucker, yes, Nectarus Dry Hop Sour from Four Winds is freaking god tier. I was literally thinking today in the shower about if I were to do a video with like my top five or top ten craft beers, what would they be? And in my mind, Nectarus was vying for like one of the top three spots. I haven't had it for a while, but it could take number one, possibly. That is an incredible beer. An excellent choice. An excellent choice. Uh, Bruce says, I've been watching some of Jim Lee's live streams. Pardon me. And the pencil to paper sounds are very ASMR reminiscent. It's great to watch that guy draw. So remind me, Bruce, who is Jim Lee? I assume someone who draws for a living, but a comic book artist, perhaps? Um... But yeah, I used to watch a lot of drawing and painting videos uh, before I knew what ASMR was. Like that was what I would look up. I didn't really know why I liked them so much, but once I figured out that ASMR was a thing, then it all made sense. Nick Vlogs, what's up? Will there be another Fossils video soon? That's a really good question. Um. 
unlikely simply because I have not acquired any. Hmm. No, I guess we have one new fossil, but I don't know if it would be that exciting for a video. It's a coprolite. It's a piece of fossil poop, uh, which might not be all that interesting. It's like literally just like a chunk of rock that looks like poop. Um, and so I don't have a fossil video planned in the immediate future, but when I do eventually acquire some new fossils to add to the, collect to the collection, I will bear in mind there are some people out there like yourself who are excited for another one of those. The other thing is I do know I have some fossils from my childhood that I think are in my parents' basement. And so if I were able to track those down and find those again, then I could do a video with those. But I would have to find them. Etisham MD. Yes, this is going to be modded Skyrim. Modded Skyrim. Uh, it has quite a few mods on it. Chicken Chaser. You haven't been here for a while and you don't know why. Well, I'm glad you're here. I guess whatever was holding you back now has, has been resolved, so welcome back. Good to have you back, Chicken Chaser. Tixming says, I don't have diabetes, I don't think, but when my blood sugar gets low, if I have too large a gap between meals, I stumble on my words a bit. Yeah, you are 1000% correct, Tixming. You, you called that. You nailed it. Uh, and then, it's <laughs> on fire, and Anna comes out and says, good lord, about time that guy left. <laughs> oh my goodness, Anna. And then chat burns down, and then chat burns down. It's a mess. So many flames, so much fire. The scamps attacked, everything went to hell. I came back. And then all of you suddenly behaved yourselves. Amazing. <laughs> Our detective says, I have no water emotes, but here's a red card for all you anarchists. Thank you for trying to uphold uh, some level of uh, order here. Attractive in my absence. And Dawn's eternal light out there trying to slay the scamps desperately. One day it's going to just break into all out war in the chat. Uh, Etisham MD, uh, yes, I have spent m probably more time modding Skyrim than playing Skyrim in the last many years, I would bet. <laughs> Although this mod list in this particular playthrough is quite old. It's, um, from 2018, because that's when I started the save game that we're going to be picking up here, and I've been playing it ever since then. Of course, I don't want to touch the mod list for fear of breaking it. So the mod list stays exactly how it has been. It even came across from an older computer. Still works, game still loads, but I dare not mess with any of it, lest it never, lest it never load again. <laughs> I don't know. Why do I find this so funny? Nuvala and chat just says balls. <laughs> no context, just balls. Anna says, I'm craving all foods except what's in my house. Tears are rolling down my cheeks because I want Taco Bell. Anna, I, I have to share with you something terrible. We don't even have a Taco Bell here. Where I lived before, where I'm living now, we did have a Taco Bell in that city. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. <laughs> we had this guy, old dude, made tacos, Taco Bell. No, we had a Taco Bell. And that was the first time I'd ever had Taco Bell, and it was uh, amazing. It was an eye-opening experience. Um, and then I moved away from there, and now no more Taco Bell. And I think about it every once in a while. It makes me sad that we don't have Taco Bell here. Our tractor says, now I want lollies. Okay, so in Australia, what is a lolly attractive? Uh, like, is it a specific kind of candy, or is it just a generic term for candy? Kuro, I hope your your potato is delicious. Uh, 
Um, and Canada Drive says, hey, whoever requested that blood sugar check is super thoughtful, right? I'm so lucky that you all take care of me because I don't take good enough care of myself. That was Tick Spring. Thank you again, Tick Spring. Uh, Y'all are not only some of the warmest, kindest, most awesome, supportive individuals, but you help me manage my blood glucose. What the heck? What the heck, you guys? Uh, Tucker says, yes, uh, the Nectarist Dry Hop Sour is by far the best I've had personally. And I'm German, so that's saying something. That is saying something. There's a lot of good German beers. It's it's a real special one. I should I should pick up some Nectarist. It has been forever. I've not had it for quite some time, but it is exceptionally good. Everything about it hits. Are you are you toasting a lechonk, Kuro? <laughs> you left your potato cooking for too long, and it turned into a lechonk. I don't know if that's how that if that how, that's how that works. I mean, if you could just cook potatoes until they turn into bacon, though, that would be pretty good. Uh, Bruce says, Jim Lee is arguably the biggest comic book artist of all time. X-Man, Superman, Batman, one of the founders of Image Comics. I think you mentioned this. You talked about this fellow before. I think that's why I remembered that. And you were saying how he live streams. That's it's so, so cool that you get to see a master of their craft, someone who you know, uh, pioneered genres, uh, just doing their thing on live streams. Nick Flox is sweet, extra old childhood fossils. Yeah, like a whole, like, 20 years older than, wait a second, that's not how that works. <laughs> Unless they're just, like, actually just relics from my, my youth, like actual toys that just got fossilized in my room. This is my Mighty Max. This is my Star Wars. Kenner. Han Solo. <laughs> um, Nuvala, you didn't think I would read your balls? <laughs> what can I say? I, I'm a, I've got an eye for balls. I'm a regular ball detector. No balls get past me. Um, Anna says, I had Taco Bell once when I was eight. Haven't thought about it in years, but I miss it. <laughs> we need to start a Taco Bell, uh, what am I trying to say? A lack of Taco Bell support group. <laughs> Nick Vlog says Taco Bell is an absolute tragedy. Taco Bell is, from what I've had, it's not something you get when you want good food. It's so something you, you want it because you want Taco Bell. If that makes sense. You know? Um, Kuro says, the mod list is already broken. It's just being held together by band-aids and belief in the save. It's so true, though, actually. For real. Uh, Edishim MD says, my mod list is ancient too. You started it around 2018? Yo. Senior mod lists. It's actually incredible that they they continue to work. <laughs> it, it takes some effort to make sure it stays functional over all that time. I've never had a Del Taco chicken chaser. What is Del Taco? And I cannot drive, so here's my conflict right now. I'm craving fruit snacks and there's like a hundred gummy packs downstairs. Should I go downstairs at 1.55 a.m. despite already getting my midnight snack tonight and possibly disturb my family? Yeah, just make it a stealth mission. You gotta learn from Garrett. You gotta creep. You gotta sneak. Stick to the shadows. Avoid the light. Don't step on the loud metal floors. You'll be fine. Speaking of tacos, it's taco. It's Taco says sub for two years this Thursday stream. What? What? Taco? Wait, this coming Thursday or last Thursday? If you mean this coming Thursday, then we'll have to celebrate 
with a very happy two year anniversary on that stream. But we could celebrate now too, preemptively. I'm gonna celebrate right now. I'm gonna tap on this potato. Just like so. Um, okay, our attractive has some information about lollies for us. Lollies are pretty much any candy besides chocolate. Maybe it's an Australian thing to say. Sorry, I should have called you out as Australian. <laughs> like that, just like, what does this word mean? But like, specifically in North, I think, Canadian English at least, a lolly would usually refer to like a lollipop, like a hard candy on a stick. That's pretty much the only time we would use the terminology lolly. But I know from British English that lolly has a more general uh, meaning. And so I wasn't sure in Australian English what lolly meant. So thank you for informing us. Talon3235. Talon, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us here. Great to have you with us. Yeah, that was a bit of a stretch there, Kuro, with the Lechonk, but you know what? I, I gotcha. You're trying. You're trying. Bruce says there's so many people that come into his live streams that are absolutely flabbergasted that he streams. It's so cool when like you realize that a lot of people that you admire are often more accessible than you think they are. I've had that experience a number of times. And uh, it's always really, really neat. It makes, I don't know like especially when you're growing up other people out there in the world celebrities especially or people that you admire for various things seem so inaccessible and distant but like as you get a bit older you i don't know at least in my experience you start to realize that you know these people are just people and many of them are actually like way more uh yeah you know accessible is a word a weird word but Thank you for the scam murder after that scam attack. <laughs> so good to for out there. So many scam army Drake out there slaying the scam. Thank you, Drake. Anyway, I don't know. It's just been <laughs> it's just been my experience that uh, a lot of the time, if you want to let somebody that you admire know that you admire their work, it's a lot easier to do so than you think. Um, I mean, obviously, it depends on the tier of celebrity too. Um, um, where am I in the chat? All right, this coming Thursday, we will celebrate this coming Thursday, Falco. This coming Thursday. Did you guys just both add the quote at the same time? <laughs> No, wait, you added two separate quotes. You totally tag teamed it. <laughs> oh, my lord. Uh, yeah, I don't have watch time command set up. I'm sorry, Anna. <laughs> you still bought spot a fart sniffer. That is actually fair, though. You call those suckers, Drake. Yeah, that's true. A lollipop, a sucker. Yeah. Well, a sucker is specifically like the flatter ones. But if it's like a round one, like a Tootsie Pop or a, a, like a Blow Pop, <laughs> like a Chupa Chups, I would call that a sucker. What I'm saying is Blow Pops are suckers. And Bunger is a burger. Chicken Chaser says, Del Taco is something we had in SoCal, but unfortunately uh, not here in Washington. Although there is a location nearby in Idaho, it's like Taco Bell was slightly better. Well, next time I'm down in SoCal, whenever that may be, I'll keep an eye out for it. Man, the scamp war is raging here tonight. Absolutely raging. Talon says you should do spray bottle on the mic. Um, you know, that's a trigger that I've never done here, and truth be told, this isn't really a super, like, trigger-based ASMR channel. It's a lot more chatting and gaming 
I do have a few trigger triggers than I do, but it's a lot less trigger based than some other, maybe more traditional or conventional ASMR channels out there. So it's unlikely that I will do the spray bottle on the mic unless it was something that a lot of people really wanted. <laughs> but I, I do like that trigger. It is nice. You put the plastic over the mic and then the spray bottle on the plastic. <laughs> I like how Drake has to wait for the cool down before he can continue his scamp murdering. Uh, Bruce asked Nick what made you go with a Ryzen processor instead of like an i9, for example. Ah, uh, because at the time that I was buying my CPU, uh, the best multi-threaded performance I could get, uh, which I wanted for uh, rendering my videos, was uh, the uh, Ryzen 9 5950X. Um, and so that's what I got. <laughs> Unless I wanted to go into like prosumer, like uh, core extreme or like thread ripper stuff, but I wasn't going to do that. Um, so it was just, it was the one that was generally recommended for uh, like heavy productivity workloads, but also good for gaming. But I don't really have any particular allegiance one way or the other, AMD or Intel, uh, over the course of the PCs that I have owned. My very first PC that I ever built was, uh, or I didn't even build my first PC that I ever bought, was AMD. It was a uh, Athlon XP uh, 2800 plus. Is that right? I think it was a 2800 plus. And um, then my second one that I did build myself was uh, Core 2 Quad Q6600, so that was Intel. And then my next one was uh, an i7 4770K, so that was Intel. And then my next one was this one, so Ryzen uh, from AMD. So I've, I've flip-flopped between red team and blue team, depending on on what was the best value at the you know for the budget that I had at the time and the workload. Um, Kuros is not sure if they exist anywhere else, but here in the north in North Texas we have a place called Fuzzy's Tacos. Never heard of it, but a fuzzy taco does not summon up a great mental image. I have to say, it sounds like a taco that's been sitting in the back of the fridge for way too long. Sirena says Del Taco is fresher and the tortillas are more soft and tender than Taco Bell, but both have their place. <laughs> Fair enough. I want to try Del Taco now. Attractive says, I did not know there were so many words for lollipops. <laughs> yeah, what else would you, I don't know, sucker, lollipop, lolly, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think candy in general has, like, there's a lot of diverse words for it in English. You might call them bonbons, I guess. Sweets. What kind of candy do you think the scamps like? What would this army of scamps choose? Out of, out of all candy options. Kind of drive says sometimes when I get the creeps at night, I like to join live streams to ground myself. For sure. The second time I watched one of your streams, a scamp showed up and scared the hell out of me. No one paid any mind to it, and I was totally freaked. Flash forward to two years later, and I'm head of the scamp family. <laughs> That's a wonderful story. Thank you for sharing, Anna. I do love, I do love the fact that you you still stuck around. You know, and it does make me wonder. It does make me wonder what. People who are here for the first time think when they see those scams pop up. There's so many things about our streams here that I have completely normalized and become totally desensitized to, but that first time people here are probably like, what the hell? Do, do any of you, the rest of you have similar stories? Is there anything that we do here where the first time you arrived here, you're like, what is going on? Maybe the fact that it takes me an hour and a half to get to actually playing the game. <laughs> uh, 
Retractive asks, uh, do you guys have red cloud lollies? Also known as gummies. Ah, uh, they're so good. No. Uh, I have never had a red cloud before. Are they like marshmallowy? Or are they like gummy bears? Or... Yo, what's up? <laughs> it's Thorak. Thorak329. Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Hashtag menu stream. <laughs> you know it, Thorak. Thorak has been here forever. And is probably very used to the menu stream situation by now. You know who else is used to the menu stream situation? Nikoma Raccoon. Nikoma, is fantastic to see you. Thank you for the 35 month resub. You are nearly one month away from a three year resub. Oh my god. Uh, what's up? What's up, Nikoma? Thank you for another month of being awesome, of kindly supporting and contributing to what we have here. I've been getting more messages here in the chat. Lots of people receiving their cards in the last couple of weeks. And uh, again, just in case you all didn't know, the Coma Raccoon is responsible for that amazing art on the cards this year, the holiday cards. So a uh, big thank you again to the Coma for such a rad piece of art that I think reflects our community so very well. Um, yo, Argus Rex. I'm not quite sure what you said there because Twitch actually censored it. So it says, Nick, you are the censored word. Which could have been a lot of things. I'm going to choose to take it. Choose to take it as a, a positive thing. <laughs> as a compliment. Thank you, Argus Rex. A scam's favorite candy is human flesh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Attractive says the scamps are probably after our precious potatoes. Okay, yep, also fair. Uh, Yorg Paladin 3. Something on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing, Yorg. Uh, I don't know if you're watching, but I thank you regardless. Uh, Drake says Ryzen renders videos like a freaking champ. Straight up. Yeah, they're very good productivity CPUs that way. Attractive says, I love that the scamp sound came from your mouth. <laughs> it did. I'm not proud of it, but it, it definitely did. That's me. Oh, you are going to say, Nick, you are the bomb.com. <laughs> but it, it censored it because it thought it was URL. I appreciate it, Argus. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dawn's Eternal Light says, Scamps and burning the chat confused me my first couple of streams, but I got on. And now you can burn chat with the best of them. I love it. Yes, Twitch does not like links, Argus. It's true. Kuro says, I know that sometimes during Kuro's story of the stream, I've seen some people get super confused and think I'm just a bot spamming nonsense. Yes, I've seen that too. Fair enough. I can see how they might get confused about that. Rocket King in YouTube chat says, Del Taco is so awesome. We have it here in NorCal, one of my faves. A lot of vegetarian options. Nice. I'll have to keep an eye out for Del Taco next time I'm in Cali. It's just been a few years, for sure. And look who we've got here. It is Poet Laureate Red Sphere. It's been quite some time since our Poet Laureate has graced us with such a wonderful message as this which reads hello everyone i hope you're all having an amazing uh morning slash day slash night no matter where you are in the world going into this new week just remember you can do it that's you you can do it no matter how easy or hard things may be just remember that you are an amazing human being and you can find a way to make things turn out for the best but for now just relax and enjoy the greatest stream and community on Twitch. My, my, I'm flattered. Grab a drink, your favorite snack, and put your troubles aside. At least for tonight. Uh, Red Spear, thank you. Thank you for the very kind words, the positivity, as always. It brings something special to the chat. And sometimes it's probably just what people need to hear. So, 
um, thank you for your kind contribution for making this a better space by being here, by sharing that with everyone. Ah, uh, bomb shend 24. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but thank you for following. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Take Spring says, I thought Buttspot was an actual person trolling me when they replied to my posts. <laughs> I wonder if their toxicity was allowed. I think a few people have, have had that happen. Um, yeah, it's right there in the name, but I guess it's not always clear. <laughs> literally just a bot by the way there is a way to turn off bot spot for you specifically like if anyone doesn't want bot spot turning their comments into butts uh i can't remember what the command is but if you google it i'm sure you can find there's a way to tell bot spot to not reply to your messages ever uh Nikoma says, may the gods have mercy on your souls if I make it to five years of chilling here. You totally could. There are people, there are some people here who have been here for five years now. It's totally possible. Nick Flock says, yeah, it definitely confused me when I started watching your streams and it was just the menu screen. Now I appreciate how long these chats are. Ah, uh, yeah, good. I know some, I think, you know, it's a self-selecting group of people here and that like the people who get real sick of my menu screen streams, uh, they all leave. <laughs> and so that is just us weirdos left over who are okay, implicitly okay with me taking an hour and a half to, uh, chat with y'all and sit on the main menu. Red Spear says, also on my first stream, Nick made me write a three-page essay in MLA format explaining why he was the best streamer. <laughs> and when I say made me, I mean he said I wouldn't do it, so naturally I had to do it. <laughs> yeah, I still remember that. And you delivered. You delivered. That's impressive. Never forget. A uh, friend of a friend says the scamps for me were at first confusing and alarming. I think they're maybe a little contrary to the ASMR vibes, but I can't, I don't know. They're very, they're very, uh, you know, ingrained in the culture I want to say here now, so. Um, by the way, Grandpa, thank you for the follow on Twitch. I don't know why it didn't show up on my mini feed. It's just not there. But thank you for the follow. So it didn't pop up on the screen. Uh-oh. Do you guys hear that ding, ding, ding in the distance? Maybe very faintly. That means my washing machine is not working. It means it got unbalanced. It means I have to go fix it. My arch nemesis. Ah, uh, straight up, I made the scam sound. I know that is me. That was literally clipped from a stream by FamCam. By FamCam. Yep, that's real. <laughs> oh, I know you're what we need to hear. <gasps> Me? Oh, why thank you. Why thank you. <laughs> Got him. Except when I'm making this camp sound, you don't need to hear that. Butt spot is a real person, says Red Spear. Oh yeah, how was he? Butt spot is a blessing, not a curse. I agree. That's why Butt Spot is allowed in this chat. Argus, I do not have a puppy. Sadly, we have no pets, but we were literally talking about it just tonight. We've been talking about it for years. I, I really think it's time. I really think it's time that we, we get a dog. What kind of what kind of puppy are you thinking about Argus Rex? Any particular kind? Set of Dragon says Wait Wait Once our butts are touched all truths were revealed. <laughs> Sorry what? I, I I don't know if it's actually implicit that butt butt touches butts. But really butt butt touches all of our butts. All of our 
the butts in our hearts. All of our heart butts. Yeah. Kick the washing machine. <laughs> the washing machine. Shaggy, shaggy, shaggy. Wow. Words. The washing machine shaga continues. Don't don't be a washing machine shaga. Not recommended. Not how the appliance is recommended to be used. Oh my god. <laughs> Sean Connery, the washing machine shaga. <laughs> oh man. What the heck? Bruce says, Nick built in a failsafe mechanism for lengthy chat. It looks like this. It looks like what? Five minutes of gameplay. It's true, I did. I did. <laughs> okay, that bo the bonk was well deserved. Uh, yes, y'all. I think that's a great idea. We should uh, do five minutes of gameplay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, I'm putting five minutes on the timer. There we go. And, uh, uh, where are we? Oh, yes. I remember now. So, friends, the last time we played Skyrim, we were continuing on with Worm's Tooth. Worm's Tooth which is um, a mod <laughs> in which uh, we travel to an island far to the north of Skyrim, but not Solstheim, not that one, different island. This one's called Worm's Tooth. And we came here because we got hired by the East Empire Company to kill a dragon that was attacking their caravans. We went to kill the dragon, the dragon kicked our ass and was like, yo, If you really want to fight me, come find me on the island of Worm's Tooth. And so we followed that dragon all the way up to the island of Worm's Tooth. And we found out that that dragon had destroyed a village on this island. Um, and we also uh, were assigned a party. <laughs> this lady, the audacity of this lady. Um, we were assigned a party of adventurers to join us including Elmira here, uh, Shargram here, uh, and a few others. Not not this rock over here, um, but a couple of these guys. And they are coming with us to hunt this dragon. And uh, we are deep within Worm's Tooth Barrow. Worm's Tooth Barrow. Um, Aether is another one of the guys. This is part of our group. Um, and we are looking for this dragon in the depths of this barrow because apparently it's where this dragon lives and uh we have just dropped down this massive hole into what looks like black reach what looks like black reach we came from way up there and uh yeah this has been a long dungeon a long dungeon um oh that sounds nice and attractive I freaking love it when it just starts pouring. You can lay in bed and hear the rain. So nice. So that is what we were doing here. Um, and I don't quite know what to expect here, but I bet there will be Falmer. I bet there will be Falmer. Um, so that's what we're going to be keeping an eye out for. And I guess we're still looking for a dragon, technically. Technically. Nothing around here. Big scary door. <laughs> Whoa. Look at those gears go. Falmer. Wait, he just disappeared through that door. Wait, he keeps... 
coming through and going out of that door. Bro, <laughs> what's the matter? Oh, never mind. Right, this guy is actually our ally. I forgot. He's a he's a a wizard, uh, who is. He was doing research in these ruins, and now he's possessed a Falmer uh, to guide us through here. Uh, he's kind of helping us out, and we're kind of helping him out. So, that's what that's about. No, stop. I'm trying to search the Falmer. Take a Falmer ear, you know. Okay, that's somewhere we can go. Um, you're thinking about getting a Basenji. It doesn't bark and act like a cat. It even grooms itself. I don't think I've ever heard of this breed before. Uh, that sounds kind of amazing. Oh, what's in here? Dwarven oil. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Random workbench here. I guess maybe a uh, dude guy was hanging out here. This must be his his bed. Ooh, black soldier. Sure, sure. <laughs> Just random skeleton chilling over here. One gold. And some alchemical ingredients. Okay, bro, just so you stop opening and closing this door, let's go through to Dim Frost. Hello. Of the Dwemer here. I wonder what Dwemer tastes like. It's a fair question, I guess. Uh, all right, friends. Well, we have had our five minutes of gameplay. In fact, we are currently at six minutes forty-two seconds. Uh, so uh, we're going to stop there for a moment, but at least we got started. <laughs> and now I'm going to scroll back in the chat to make sure I did not miss. Uh, Kuro said the scamps are central to Chat's identity. They represent all of us as the chaotic, deranged goblins we all are. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's such a good fit. I couldn't agree more. Uh, okay, and then we had the, the washer, washing machine Shaga. Uh, which... Is it still making noise? I'll have to go check on it. Maybe it figured itself out. I don't know. Uh, Red Spear, our poet laureate, has something to share with us. Red Spear says, But spot the mighty, but spot the unerring, but spot the unassailable. To you we give praise. We are but viewers writhing in the filth of our own minds. Well, you have ascended from the chat of mortality, and now chat amongst the stars. But you were once a viewer, I, and as a viewer, you said, let me show you the butter of Buttos Stormbutt. <laughs> I love it. I don't want to, I don't want anything to do with any butt butter, thank you. <laughs> but very good. You guys are not letting any of these quotes get past you tonight, are you? Uh, it, it looks a little bit. Does does Black Reach look cozy? I guess it's cozy in its own way. You're not wrong or attractive. That's your first time ever using the five minutes of gameplay reward, Bruce. Well, it was well, 
well used, well used. Uh, there are a couple of blood sugar check requests on here. Um, one from uh, Nicoma, one from Tick Spring. I will do Nicoma's here. Okay, so it's still a bit low, but it's, it's not as low as it was. It's up a little bit. It's up a little bit. Uh, but I should probably still have another candy here. You're right. Thank you for that check, you guys. And Tick Spring, I'll save yours for a little bit. Um, yo, what's up, Gates? Welcome on in. Um, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Corrosis? I'm getting hungry, but it's cold in my house. So I don't think I want to leave the warmth of my blankets. That's fair. That's a mood. Basenjis don't bark, but they yodel and screech real loud. Interesting. Grapple says, Aberthor portraying my cat every morning at the front door. <laughs> Actually, though, right? I did say butt butter. But only because I was reading what Red Spear said, so really it was a Red Spear that said about butter. I just want that on the record. You know. Vex Trip McGee. What's up? Welcome on in. Thanks for joining us. I don't know. The butt butter is one thing. The butt maple syrup, that's something different yet again. <laughs> really? I'm pretty sure. The butter of... Okay, fine. You didn't specifically say butt butter, I suppose. I suppose. The butter of butthouse storm butt, however. I don't know which is worse. Thank you, Drake. A classic quote. Absolutely classic. Tick Spring, I have not played Unravel, but that's um, that's the one with the little yarn uh, characters, right? Side-scroller type thing. Yeah, you got me, Red Spear. Butt butter on the mind at all times. Just constantly. It's the butt butter. I, it's a problem, I know, but I, I'm working on it. Like, admitting that you have a problem is the first step towards recovery, right? So, one day, I'll be free of the butt butter. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, the butter cuts. <laughs> you were quoted a long time ago, Red Spear. <laughs> That's quote 304. That was, like, years ago. <laughs> okay. I want to play some more Skyrim. But, not butt butter, just butt. Uh, I want to go get the beer, and I want to go check the washing machine. So, I'm going to go do that. You already had your chance to burn down the chat, which you did very, very well. So, hopefully, hopefully I can, I can safely leave chat. And I'll come back to a, a very uh, intact and unburned uh, scenario. We shall see. We shall see. I will be right back. Y'all behave yourselves. Behave. Behave. Be right back.
boy. This is quite the war that's going on in here. Holy smokes. Um, I apologize for the lengthy absence. I was fighting the washing machine. I hope that I have managed to wrestle it into submission. Had to take out some towels. Wet. Very heavy wet towels. Um, and I see the chat has exploded while I was away. Because of course it has. Um, what else did I miss? Uh, Bruce is mad. If any of you have uh, never seen Skyrim Unnecessary Censorship on YouTube, please check it out. You won't be crying laughing. I don't think I've seen it. I don't think I have. That definitely sounds like something I would enjoy, though. Tickspring says, I set Unravel down a couple of years, but reinstalled it tonight to finish it soon, and have always enjoyed the graphics, the sound, and vibe of it. I remember seeing some bits and clips from it, but I've never played it. I'll keep an eye out for it. Is it available on Steam? Or where? Where would I find it? Ah, how is your cup of tea, Sargon? I like how you had to allow the term shag through. <laughs> oh, man. Your none may quote me quote should still be in there somewhere. Red Spear. We wouldn't have removed it. Vex Tripagee asks, how do we keep it unburnt? It's impossible, as it turns out. It's impossible. What you can do is you can go over to the YouTube stream chat where they never burn it down because they're so well behaved. Shout out to YouTube chat. How are you guys doing? Yeah, Kuro, that, that quote should be in there somewhere still. <laughs> Attractive. It's getting hot in here. Oh boy. Yep, it's a lot of flames. Oh, hey, check it out though. Dexter Minky coming in with the Blastoise army. Sargon also the Empoleon surprise. Between the two of you, you fought off those flames pretty effectively. We're all cooked. In what sense? In what sense? <laughs> hey, we also got the sweet coon coming in. Legendary backup. Wow, this is quite the quite the war here. But y'all got some good big potatoes out of it, so that's what matters. <laughs> also, extra McGee, thank you for the follow. By the way, the follow. Welcome on in. You're late. I know. I had to, like I said, I had to battle the washing machine. I mean, accurate quote. Entirely true. Ah, uh, too busy coordinating the firefighting response to make tea. Fair enough. Well, now your watch has ended. You may go make your tea. What kind of tea you think it's are gone? There you go, there's a red spear quote. Still in there. Yo, what's up, Lassus? How you doing? It's on origin, okay. Wait, is Yay Origin still a thing? I thought they got rid of that at one point, but I guess not, because you still need somewhere to download EA games, so. Yeah, it is a really lovely looking thing for sure. Lovely looking game. From what I've seen of it. It did not want to be seen, but you found it nevertheless. Okay, seen a little bit, Nakoma. See you shortly. Have a good whatever you're doing. A good whatever you're doing. Uh, I, no, they could probably burn down the YouTube chat if they really wanted. <laughs> but they don't. Uh, yo, what's up, Jake? It's been a little bit. How you doing? Northwest breakfast tea from Market Spice. A local tea from Pike Place Market. Sounds very nice. Next time I'm down in Seattle, I'll have to see if I can find some. That sounds delightful. Uh, EA Play. Okay, so it's... But they still have a thing, a client. It's just called something different now. 
I have heard of Enshrouded, Malbec. Yes, I have heard of it. Uh, that's, it's that new survival one that just came out, right? Is it good? I heard kind of like mixed things. Ah, look at that. I told you they had the capability to burn down chat over on YouTube. Because there it is, burning down. With one trick on us. <laughs> Lighting it up. Alright, gang. Um... It's time for the beer pour. It's time for the beer pour. And look at this beer. Uh, this is not a wintry beer at all. It's quite the opposite. This is a wishing for the summer weather beer. It's from Wild Eye Brewing, which has one of the coolest logos of any brewery I know. Um, and it's their Blackberry Mojito Sour cocktail inspired beer. Uh, which sounds delightful. That sounds like a refreshing summer cooler. Uh, surprisingly kind of strong for for what it is, 6.5%. Usually these fruity ones I find are a bit lighter. But yeah, biblically accurate beer. Exactly, Kuro. It's just such a cool logo. Isn't that awesome? Um, and yeah, kind of a weird pick for the middle of the winter here, but I wanted... I wanted to defy the winter time with something summery. I was getting tired of all the heavy beers and stouts and ales. I wanted something fresh and crisp. Although last Sunday uh, I had a very nice beer here on the channel. It wasn't a heavy beer, but it wasn't exactly a light beer either. It was that um, uh, Belgian brown ale with cherries from Dakrad, Dakrad, which was really, really good too. Uh, hopefully this is super tasty let's see what they have to say while I'm brewing is from North Vancouver North Vancouver also 169 viewers nice actually it'll be less than that on individually on Twitch or YouTube but combined only I can see the 69 this time um, it says here no need to meddle with a muddler here We've amalgamated a massive amount of mint and mingled that with our kettle-soured mash after fermenting this mixture dry. Then we moved the medley to merge with fresh blackberry and lime. Mojito. Brewed with crystal clear North Shore water, barley, malted wheat, flaked wheat, blackberry, lime, hops, and yeast forward to it. Let's try it. I'm going to turn this down for cracking it open so it's not too loud. And I'm going to mute to adjust the mics. One second. Absolutely, just in time for the pour. Red Spear, you have not missed it. You are here, just in time for the pour. Let's pour. This is going to be a fizzy one, I think. It's a sour. It'll be really fizzy. disappears pretty much disappears because 
sours be that way the the head the foam on the sours never really sticks around uh just rapidly dissipates and uh we have a member of the community Jarrett, uh who is a, a beer chemist um but and microbiologist but uh and Jarrett explained to me once why that is why the sours uh uh, always have the the head disappear dissipate so quickly but I do not remember what his explanation was <laughs> but there is a, a reason um, I'm just gonna mute really quickly here as I adjust the mics back one second Look at the beautiful color of this beer, y'all. Isn't that gorgeous? The beer itself is not hazy, it's just the glass is a little foggy, but beautiful deep red. Lightly sour smell. And a little bit of a little bit of a sweetness. Let's try it out. Uh today we're toasting irreverence. Just <laughs> just kind of not caring so much about things. I don't know. Sometimes it's important to be irreverent and not take everything so dang seriously. So cheers to <laughs> tasteful irreverence. Oh, you can taste the mint. It's very sour, but the mint adds a coolness and a bit of an herbal note. And, um, and the juiciness of the blackberries comes through as well. I would say it doesn't taste a whole lot like a mojito, but it is very refreshing. It's really nice, very crisp. Um, by the way, Aitan, Aitan, happy 19 months. Thank you for another month in the sub club. I really appreciate it. Thank you for continuing to support and uh, contribute to what we have here uh, and for, for coming on by tonight. It's good to see you, Aitan. Shout out to Aitan, by the way. Awesome ASMR content creator here on Twitch as well. Um, <laughs> Peachy Mango, those sparkles are exactly how this sounded. Red Spear says, it's funny because I hate beer IRL but I love the pores. Well, it's because you don't have to drink it here. You can just enjoy the sound. Uh, Jacob Zeppelin over on YouTube says, is it with or without alcohol? This is alcoholic. Uh, it is 6.5%, 6.5%. So yeah, this is an alcoholic beverage, which I will remind you all, it is important to drink responsibly uh, know your limits and uh, keep in mind you know your health uh, do not overdo it um, and Jojo Rabbit says nice clean fingernails thank, thank you thank you I do try to try to keep them nice um, Etan asks red colored sour beer raspberry yeah it's blackberry which makes for red beers Funnily enough. Funnily enough. Red Spear, you're more of a tequila man. I'm not a big tequila guy. But uh, a while back I had some pretty decent tequila. I think it's Patron. I think I mentioned this before on stream. But that, that I enjoyed. That was surprisingly good. Uh... And I, my conclusion is I've only had bad tequilas before that. So if they're all like that, or better, then I guess I'd be okay with tequila. <laughs> um, and uh, Kuro, you are a sake man. Fair enough. I've had some good sake. Although weirdly I didn't have any when I was over in Japan. <laughs> which was probably a missed opportunity. 
Uh, Peachy Mango says, I know I always get distracted and ask this, but may I see the can? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, this is the beer. It is the Blackberry Mojito Sour Cocktail Inspired Beer from Wild Eye Brewing. And they have such a cool logo. They're located in North Vancouver, BC. And that drink looks so tasty. So refreshing. <laughs> Pardon me. Red Spear says, I had tequila flavored like a strawberry milkshake. Wait, what? Like intentionally? Like they added strawberry milkshake stuff to it? Or like somehow it just had a strawberry milkshake aura about it? I feel like that's a way to ruin a good tequila. <laughs> What do I know? I mean, I guess if you enjoy the strawberry milkshake aspect, then you're good. Uh, mm, a lychee flavored drink. That does sound pretty yummy. Extra McGee. It is really good. It is really good. I'm glad you like the pour. It's true, y'all can enjoy the pours without even having to crack a beer. Rotundus Yeeks, what's up? I feel like it's been a long time since we've seen you here. Welcome. It is pretty good. Yo, Tick Spring, they're doing a Tron 3? Okay. I like that, that last, that Disney one. I guess they're both Disney ones. You know, the one from like the mid 2000s, late 2000s, the late aughties. When was that? You know what I'm talking about. The, uh, Daft Punk scored one with um, Olivia Wilde and Jeff Bridges, I'm pretty sure. The score to that movie went hard. That's such an incredible soundtrack. Uh, ooh, a green curry or tractor. That sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. I love a good curry. Good green curry. Uh, Luke Sargent over on YouTube. Yeah, from North Vancouver, right? So local ish to me. Uh, not super far away, anyway. Abu over on YouTube it says, Long time watcher here. Didn't know you did wine tasting. <laughs> so funny enough, it's actually not a wine, as you probably just saw. It's actually a beer. It just looks very wine like. Uh, my wine palette is not very well developed. I like wine just fine, but I don't. I don't know wine very well, but you know, I could, I could do some wine tasting at some point on stream. That'd be kind of fun, but craft beers, definitely. This just happens to be a very wine looking beer because it's got blackberry in it. It's a blackberry mojito sour. 2010, really? Is it 2010? Huh? I don't know why I thought it was earlier than that. Tron Legacy. That's the one. Thank you. The original Tron was 1982. That one's fun. A very different film, but very fun. Uh, uh, Kuro says, You know, I don't think I've ever had enough to get wasted. There's a point after four or five glasses I start to get a headache. I mean, that's good. You know, <laughs> getting blackout drunk is bad. It is extremely bad for your health. It's a bad time all around. When you do dumb things, you probably end up throwing up somewhere. It's bad. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, and you'll hate yourself the next day. Don't. Don't do that. No one should do that to themselves. Um, yeah, it does kind of have that biblically accurate angel look to it, doesn't it? I don't know if that's what it's inspired by, but it's really cool. Apparently, strawberry tequila is very commonly used in Spain for shots. Interesting, Malbec. I had no idea. Drake says, I love tequila. I'll have to get some, uh, get you some when we meet up. I mean, if you know your tequila and you have one that you recommend, I will 1000% try it. Something you can drink while you're here, obviously. Forget about trying to bring that across the border. So, well, I don't know about tequila specifically, but we have certain allowances a certain amount of alcohol that we're allowed to bring back 
across the border is based on how long we're out of the country. So if we're out of the country for three or more days, we can actually bring back quite a bit of booze. And we won't be taxed or tariffed or anything on it. So, and I think if it's a gift, well, I don't know how that works, but. <laughs> I see the strawberry tequila is common, commonly used for shots amongst young adults, right? Going out to the bars. Makes sense. Yo, I was starting to worry, bakery guy. I'm glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Now I can, whew, I can calm down. Um, Redspear says, I also like the spiced hot chocolate with a dash of tequila in it. That sounds pretty good. I could get behind that. Oh, nice. Rotonda Seeks, I hope you had a good trip. I've been well, thank you. Uh, I hope I hope this next one is a is a good one to explain. Wait, are they seriously calling it Trithrian? <laughs> that doesn't make sense because three is usually used for e, so that would be trend. <laughs> That's just jamming a three into the word Tron just for just for the sake of it. I totally agreed though. Attractive Daft Punk absolutely made that movie what it was. Argus Rex. I know it could very easily be Kool-Aid, couldn't it? It actually looks exactly like cherry Kool-Aid, but it does not taste like cherry Kool-Aid. Baxter McGee says, I can't do wine. Craft beer is my thing. I've always been a craft beer guy, but as of late, I think I've been appreciating wine more, and I think I could definitely see myself enjoying, you know, some tastings or something like that. When I went to France a number of years ago now, um, gosh, seven years ago, six, six or seven years ago, um, I, we went to a, a little winery at a chateau in the south of France, um, and you had this amazing, like, tasting experience where, like, it was, like, paired with all kinds of food. And we just sat in their courtyard. We were the only people there. It was a beautiful summer afternoon. And it was incredible wine and delicious food. And it was just like super idyllic. I would love to do more like that. That's how I want to do my wine tastings. It was really nice. And quite reasonable too. Like I think it was about 30 euros. But we sat there for hours. And it was tons of wine. It's like 10 different kinds of wine, and the pours were extremely generous. Um, Cosmic, thank you for the follow. Welcome on into the stream. Great to have you here. Chorus says, I'm meh on most wines. I've had a lot of bad wine, and a few good wines. Fair. I've definitely had some bad wines. Jacob Zeppelin says, stop drinking around October last year, and I'm loving it so far, but sometimes I do miss the bar vibes and just the variety of drinks going out. Loving the stream. Hey, thank you, Jacob. And uh, I hope that this, you know, I always say this, but I have the utmost respect for people who choose not to drink or have, you know, decided to, to go, go sober, go dry, um, for whatever your reason may be. Uh, and I hope you never feel pressured or encouraged to consume alcohol just because I'm having a beer on the stream or whatever. Uh, it is uh, fantastic that you choose to, you know, prioritize your health, your well-being, um, and keep it up. That's awesome. Mike23 asks, can you do more trucking sim ASMR videos? You betcha. You betcha, Mike. It's been a long time since I've done one. I actually considered streaming some Euro Truck tonight, but I definitely do want to get back to the, the trucking sim videos. It's been a while. It's been too long. So yes, I'll try and do one of those soon. Um, yeah, what an unbelievable score for that film, Adric. I know it's one of your, your favorites. Um, Merc 7G, thank you for the follow, by the way. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. 
plum sake. Never tried it. <laughs> Apparently awful, though. I'll keep that in mind, Kuro. Baxter McGee, what kind of snacks you getting? Or maybe you're not back yet, I don't know. Bakery guy, you're on a big Phillips Hue Lights trip. Those things are fun. I don't have any myself because they're a little expensive, but you've installed gradient RGB strip, Hue play bars, and recessed lighting. That sounds beautiful. Whenever I end up redoing my studio office space here, probably when we move next, I want to go full RGB lighting all around, you know. I want to have full control of all the lighting in the room. Um, and I want to do a very different backdrop here. Like, it won't be, it won't be a, just a big chest of drawers. Uh, although this is a beautiful chest of drawers. We got this from Sarah's aunt. Uh, it's a, it's a really nice piece, but it's not there by choice, necessarily. It's there because we don't have anywhere else for it. Uh, Sirena, yo, thank you for the 100 biddies. I don't know what brought that on, but I appreciate that really, really a lot. Thank you. Thanks for the cheer. Thanks for the cheer and the support. Yo, it's Captain Vanquisher, Vanquisher in the house. Uh, it's going well. We had a big chat about about uh, scamps earlier. You missed it. <laughs> How you doing, Vanquisher? It is expensive to go to Europe, Naga, for sure. It's pretty hard to justify or to even save for. Um, but if you do ever get the chance, cannot recommend it. Um, yeah, some really incredible experiences. Hello, Gavin. Welcome on in. Uh, Luke Sargent asks, Nick, did you ever play Hades? Yes, but not nearly enough. And I was literally thinking yesterday, like actually yesterday, that I need to put it on my Steam Deck and play it more. Because that game has such an incredible style, and I want to finish it. Yeah, Hades 2 is going into uh, early access later this year, right? I love what Supergiant does. They have such cool games, and I really want to finish Hades. Drake, I would love nothing more than to come over and do some wine tastings with you in general. That sounds like an amazing time. Maybe this summer. Maybe this summer. I imagine there's some really nice... Uh, Nice wineries out your way. You typically get free tastings and discounts because you work in the industry. Well then. Well then. <laughs> Just uh, sweetening the deal there. Uh, Red Spear asks, when are you going to do an RP video or stream where you do wine and mead tasting around Skyrim? Actually, that's a very good idea never even occurred to me. Taste some ales. Just go around to the different bars, the different inns in the Skyrim. Green screen myself in behind the desk, <laughs> behind the, the bar, the counter, just trying different, different meats, different beers. <laughs> and go. I definitely remember the massive load <laughs> in Euro Truck. The, uh, yeah, and getting stuck not being able to not being able to get that massive load through yes i definitely remember backlit 93 says any chance you could do a similar tasting stream but with marijuana strains um i would not be the person to do that backlit because uh i don't smoke um i don't really partake of marijuana uh with any frequency and so i would not know what to be looking for in terms of like I don't know tasting notes I guess but also like feel like I, I don't you know it wouldn't be uh it wouldn't be you know a particularly insightful stream or video um but I'm sure that there is definitely lots of that out there yeah some more stuff you were to look it up Malbec. I'm using the um, the Melgeek Modern 97. 
which I've been using quite a lot for some number of months now. It's a really good all-rounder board. That's why I gave it my best all-rounder board of last year, of 2023. It's, uh, it's a great keyboard for a lot of reasons. Uh, and it's been the one that I've had on my desk most in the last, say, two to three months. But I do have a whole stack of boards that are waiting to be unboxed and a couple that are waiting to be built over there. One that I'm really excited for and I've been just meaning to get around to for literally months is a build I'm going to do. I'll tease it for you guys here. It's a beautiful green aluminum 75% board that goes together and comes apart without any screws. It all just slots together. Which is kind of amazing. It like uses like mortise and tenon type joints. And I have a set of Lord of the Rings Elven keycaps from Drop that I'm gonna put on there. And I think it's gonna look freaking beautiful. Hopefully it will also sound freaking beautiful. Um and I've had these pieces for months. I just have not had time to build it. So uh, hopefully that'll be coming up on the channel soonish, as soon as I have the time to indulge in that. But I'm really looking forward to that one because I think it's going to be gorgeous. Um, Luke Sargent says, yeah, great game and art style. You should definitely play it on the deck. Yeah, I think that's the perfect place for Hades, honestly. I have that deck OLED and I'm sure that art's going to look Kevin, yeah, I've been enjoying Pal World. I've not had much time to play it in the past week or so, but what I have played has been really compelling. It's got that that addictive, like just one more upgrade, one more Pal, uh, really down. It's, it's quite good. Uh, hey, Octo, what's up? Octo says, hey, Nick, we'll be able to fully tune in tonight as you're with the missus. Hello, Mrs. Octo Noodle. Um, or Miss Octodoodle, but I uh, hope you have a great stream, and thank you so much for the holiday card. Hey, of course, I'm glad it finally showed up, and uh, I'm glad you liked it. Nicoma, I don't know if you're back, if you're, if you're here, but people are loving the cards. Loving the cards. Um, have a nice time with the Mrs. Octo, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Good morning, owner. Um, Rotondus Yeeks says, bro, back in like peak quarantine, I remember it'd be like 6 a.m. and I'd fall asleep to your wandering in Skyrim vids. Big thanks for that. You're most welcome. It's been a long time since I did a wandering in Skyrim too, aside from the holiday episodes, but maybe I should do a fresh one of those too. I missed those. I'm glad they helped you. Kuro, you've never done any kind of tasting. Um, it's kind of nice though. It's, it's a nice experience if you ever get the chance. Sergeant Ghost Reaper, what's up? Sergeant Ghost Reaper says it's been forever since I watched a stream by you. Well, welcome back. Glad you came back after forever. <laughs> Hope you've been well. Wait, Sargon, you had a highlighted question that I skipped? Where? Where? Oh, yeah, way up there. How did I miss that? <laughs> Uh, so Nick, random question, what sort of ASMR videos do you personally enjoy? Like, do you prefer role plays, whisper ramble, shows and tells, trigger noises? Um, great question. I tend not to watch a lot of role plays. The RPs are generally not my thing, although there are a few exceptions, but usually not so much my thing. I really like, I like a lot of lo-fi kind of ASMR. I really like show and tell type videos. Um, I really enjoy video game collection <laughs> videos where people are showing off just the games they have, tapping on the cases and stuff. Um, I generally prefer whispering over soft-spoken, but I will enjoy both. But whispering is sort of my go-to. Um, as far as like the actual triggers go, yeah, I like lots of tapping. I like mouth sounds to a degree. Like I don't mind it, a mouth soundsy whisper, um, although it definitely can become too much if it's like 
exclusively mouth sounds focused, you know, but I don't mind some of that. Um, I like controller sounds videos. Um, I like videos of people building stuff. Um, and I like just rambles as well, you know, um, but a lot of the content that I watch does kind of skew to the, the nerdy side of things just because that's what I tend to like. Um, yeah, I like personal attention videos sometimes. I can find like camera touching triggers and stuff to be quite relaxing. So it kind of depends. But those sorts of things. Sorry I missed your question there, Sargon. I don't know how I didn't see that. <laughs> um, Vanquisher, wait, did we? Did we sing you happy birthday or not? I didn't know it was your 21st though. And I don't remember if we actually sang you happy birthday. Guys, help me out. Did we ever sing Vanquish your happy birthday? I feel like we didn't. But hey, happy 21st birthday, Vanquisher. Did you celebrate? Do you have a chance to go out and celebrate? Owner asks if I tend, intend to play Enshrouded. Someone just asked that over on the Twitch chat as well. <laughs> maybe I should. I hadn't intended to, but since people are asking about it, maybe I ought to. It looks neat. It looks neat. Oh, hello, Red Spear over on YouTube. Red Spear YouTube says, Hi, YouTube. You guys are cooler than Twitch, but don't tell them that. <gasps> but I just did. I just did. Busted, Red Spear. Busted. If I could have only one video game to play for the rest of my life, what would it be? Argus Rex wants to know. Part of me wants to say Skyrim because with all the mods, you know, there's pretty much unlimited experiences. But I feel like it would get lonely. If, if this one video game allows me to play multiplayer, then maybe an MMO would be more appropriate. But I guess there is a multiplayer mod for Skyrim. I'm gonna go with Skyrim. <laughs> if I had to pick one game. Uh, and guesses, by the way, Nick, I redeemed my scratch at like 10 minutes ago. Thank you for letting me know. Because I have not looked at that list. Oh, also Tick Spring, thank you for that uh, blood sugar check command. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, it feels like it's definitely... Okay, well, it's it's almost out of hypoglycemia. <laughs> Why is it so low, though? Goodness me. 3.8. Uh, that's 3.9 is the threshold. So I'm going to have one more candy, and hopefully that'll do it. Hopefully that'll do it. I definitely feel less uh, lightheaded than I did. What do you think this is? The scamps. What... What do the scamps think this is? I think it's a moose head. Looks like the head of a moose, you guys. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me get some mic scratches going on here. And thanks for your patience, Ed Cole. The scamp thanks you. I like the idea of a Skyrim mead tasting. All right, let me throw it into the. Let me throw it into the list of video ideas here. Otherwise, I'll forget. Skyrim mead slash ale tasting. RP. All right. Let's go on. Oh, what's up, Techie Not? How you doing? Naga. Yeah, you Naga, you should make some some uh ASMR videos about your favorite strains. I'm sure you would have much more insightful commentary. I don't know, Sargon. I feel like I've definitely seen people smoking on streams. 
partaking of the marijuana on streams, but I could be wrong. That's a good question. says I'm looking at getting into or getting a keyboard for gaming might have to do a little hunt through your keyboard reviews if you have particular things you're looking for feel free to DM me or over on the the um, discord you're welcome to post in the keyboard the key kingdom channel and myself or someone else over there might be able to help you but uh, I'm happy to, to suggest something if you have some specific requirements That new Razer board is not among my unboxing list, not yet, Malbec. But uh, I've had a lot of people ask me about it, so maybe I should. In fact, I really should, because lots of people have asked about that board. I feel like maybe the moment has passed now, but this piece of... I have one piece of hair that keeps <laughs> hanging down right here. It's bothering me. I... Hey, Nicole says, I'm here now. I'm so happy y'all like the card. It came out fantastic. It was excellent. I have not tried Pokemon Infinite Fusions yet, Kuro, no. <laughs> but um, if, I get a, if I get a chance, I will definitely check it out because it sounds like something that would be right on my alley. But uh, yeah, I, I have not had a chance to check it out just yet. Is, my, is, is your rival, rival me, still kicking your butt? in your playthrough. Yo, we're shouting out cheese on squeegees. Is cheese on squeegees hanging out with us here? Maybe so. I don't know. Either that or just random shout out, but that's cool. Cheese on squeegees does ASMR here on Twitch. Definitely go follow. <laughs> Quality tingles indeed, Drake. I don't, I don't know if cheese on squeegees is here and I just haven't seen them in the chat or it's just... You just felt like randomly shouting that out because that's cool. That's cool. Oh, you mentioned her in the chat, so you want to shout her out. Thank you for that. We did not sing happy birthday. All right. Vanquisher, if you're still here, okay, is it all right if we sing you happy birthday? That'd be nice. We should do that. Imposter Red Sphere over on YouTube. He does not have a cool number in his name. Therefore, an imposter. <laughs> Yo, Harrison Hart. Hello in the YouTube chat. Uh, you know, it's going well. We're supposed to be playing Skyrim, but instead I'm just chatting. Uh, because people keep talking. <laughs> and I'm bad about getting caught up on chat. Uh, attractive? I do not know what a Fierce to Fathom game is. I'm not familiar with. What is it? Yo, Thoric, have a good night. Sorry we didn't get to the gameplay before you had to take off. <laughs> you have yourself a good one, though. We will see you next time. Oh my gosh, it did look like a gummy scamp. You were absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Uh, Malbec, y'all can DM me either here on Twitch, um, like you can whisper me on Twitch, or preferably over on the Discord. Uh, if you join our community discord you should be able to send me a dm that's the best way to do it yo what's up okay kyle you are still here thank for sure might grab some waffles and coffee sounds good got a little bit before work all right all right guys shh, shh, shh. okay we're all gonna sing happy birthday to captain vanquisher all right it was his, my first birthday, like a week or two ago. So, shh, don't let him know that it's gonna be a surprise. Okay, here we go. Oh boy, wouldn't it be cool if we all sang happy birthday to Vanquisher? Let's do it all together, guys. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Vanquisher. Slightly late. Happy twenty-first birthday to you and many more. <laughs> uh, I'm glad it was a good one. I'm glad you had a great time. Uh, that's what it should be. 
and I hope you enjoy your waffles and coffee. Thank you all for chiming in. Oh, don't worry, Zenko. I could do some more scratches for you, too. I'm glad they help with the headaches. And I do appreciate the patience because I don't always look at the channel points redemption these days. It takes me a little bit sometimes to remember that they're there. For example, Malbec seven minutes ago requested a whispered fact about something. My choice, he says. Then it's going to be Skyrim facts. Interesting Skyrim facts. Let's see what we can find from Screen Rant. That's not that interesting. That's not that interesting. Not that interesting. <laughs> Fun fact. The scamps never appear in Skyrim. I don't think. I don't think there are any scamps in Skyrim. Marwind and Oblivion only. Okay, this is a fun fact that many of you might know, but some of you might not. And for those of you who might not, it's going to blow your minds. Parthenax is a dragon sage in Skyrim, as well as one of the last surviving dragons. Spoilers. Although this is a close-kept secret by the Greybeards, uh, the player has choice as to whether or not to kill Parthenax, which is also one of the most significant in the entire game. However, um, this is really poorly written. <laughs> uh, Charles Martinet voices Parthenax in Skyrim. You might know Charles Martinet from his more famous role, which is that of Mario. In the Mario franchise, Charles Martinet has voiced uh, Mario since 1992. Um, actually, and only recently just retired. Yeah, uh, within the last like half a year, he retired from voicing Mario. Um, so, but yes, for pretty much all of all of Mario's history, Charles Martinet has been the voice of Mario, also the voice of Parthenax the Dragon in Skyrim. Ta-da! Players are unlikely to confuse the two roles, indeed. But just in case you did not know. Now you know. I feel like too many people don't know that. Now you can just imagine I'm going, Woohoo! It's a me, Parthenax. <laughs> You're welcome for the surprise, Vanquisher. Thank you for the butt prize. That's very different. No, butt's butt, no. Oh, fair enough, Kuro. Fair enough. Either you or your rival. Uh, a lichen rock. And name it after you. Sure. Sure. Why not? I'm sure. I'm sure I could make that happen. Fair enough. The lack of potato posts disturbing Sargon is true. We should probably get some more potatoes going on in this chat. Pasta is fantastic, Extra McGee. Oh, I'm glad you liked it, Vanquisher. <laughs> on Van Vanquisher's uh, holiday card, I sketched a little scamp, a little scamp face. I wasn't sure how it came out. I was like, this looks... <laughs> This looks questionable, but oh well, I did it in pen. I can't really change it now. Um, some black reach lore. Sure, Bruce. Let's see what we can find. Skyrim black reach lore. Let's see what we can find. The unofficial Elder Scrolls pages. UESP. Uh, I have this to say. Oh my gosh, they've got a lot to say. So I have to find like a short synopsis. Maybe I'll just read the very first part. Since we are currently, believe it or not, in Blackreach here in the game. If we switch back here. There you go. Check it out. Blackreach. Um, let's read about this remarkable place that we see in front of us. Blackreach. 
however, Falzar Dum Din, the blackest kingdom reaches, is an immense cavern located beneath the Pale, Winterhold, Hjalmarch, Hafengar, the Reach, and possibly extending across all nine holds of Skyrim, as well as Wormstooth Island, apparently. Many giant glowing mushrooms grow throughout the cavern, providing natural light. The cavern is rich in minerals, including rare geode veins, and a subterranean river flows through it. Originally settled by the first vampire clans and later the Dwemer, Blackreach once served as a highway connecting several of the Dwemeri cities found within Skyrim. Various inhabitants can be found within Blackreach, including the Dwemer and Amunculi, Falmer, vampires, giants, frost trolls, and wisp mothers. Uh, when I got to the uh, Shifra River in Elden Ring, uh, I was immediately reminded of Blackreach, because it's very much like Blackreach. Very similar vibes. And I do wonder if they were inspired by that, or if both games are drawing from some other inspiration. Um, goodness me. I think for the first time this stream, I've made it to the bottom of the chat. Holy smokes, you guys. You've earned the right to turn off slow mode. There you go. Be free. Be free. YouTube chat never had slow mode on. <laughs> they didn't need it because they're well behaved. All right. Let's get back to Skyrim here. Uh, and get a little bit of gameplay in this stream at least. Shout out to the YouTube VOD watchers who are just tuning in right now because they, this is where they see this, the, the gameplay start on the, the timeline. <laughs> All right. Yo, what's up, Aberthor? It is, I don't have the time for it. Indeed. Okay. Wow, we've got like a small army here. We've got a lot of folks. We've got best boy Inigo, uh, whomst. Uh, lends his glorious visage to uh, the subscriber badges uh, on the Twitch channel. And uh, wields candy cane, because why not? Uh, Karjo, who is also pretty badass, but he also says stupid dog to Miko far too much, and that's very rude. Uh, then we've got Argus, who's a grumpy old man, but we love him anyway. Then the rest of these guys are all part of the mod, and they are coming along with us on this journey. Shargrim, Aether, Elmira, who is like definitely a psychopath, and uh, where's the other lady? Danelet, and Aberthor here. Alberthor, pardon me, uh, who is the uh, wizard who is possessing a Falmer. All right, let's roll. Hmm. It's kind of scary. Big dude. Daedric arrows. What's going on down here? Can we stop calling Miko stupid dog? It's extremely rude. Miko is a very good boy. Um. Yo, what's up? Ah, uh, Freedom Fry. Uh, I'm doing well, thank you very much. How about you? And Betty. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Betty? Good to see you also. Thanks for joining us. Um, Tixpring says everyone maybe fell asleep. Thank you for welcoming to me, welcoming me to the bottom of the barrel. It's you, you're here. That's a pleasant surprise down here. What was the name of that one game mentioned a couple of times tonight? Enshrouded, I think. Enshrouded is the one you're thinking of. Yes, the origin of the badge lore. Best boy, Inigo. 
and Gus says, I waited 10 minutes for Mike's scratches and I got 20 minutes of Mike's scratches. <laughs> I'm glad it was worth it. Try to make it worth your while. Perhaps I can do some more in a bit. It is hard to game and scratch at the same time, though. Regrettably. Regrettably. It's real dang dark down here. That's our dishwasher. <laughs> that wasn't the washing machine. It was the one. It was the other washing machine. The one that washes the dishes. Not the clothes. Hopefully the clothes finished. A deep moth might come back. Eh. Eh. They're deep moth wings. Uh-oh. It's the crimson nerd root. Triggered. What are my stats in the game, Betty? Gosh, I don't even know. Oh my gosh, is this seriously? <laughs> this is the first crimson nerd root we've picked up on this save ever. And so I just started the Return to Your Roots quest. Now we gotta go find frickin' Cinderian or whatever. <laughs> um, lots of deep moths down here. Uh, stats, Betty, gosh, that's a good question. I don't know, we've been playing this on and off for a long time, so... Uh, We've gone heavy into sneak and light armor and one-handed, um, bit of speech. Uh, I'm playing with, um, oh gosh, what's the, um, the perk overhaul from N-I-C-A-ON, C-I-ON, whatever the heck his name is, famous modder, he does Imperious. Um, for the racial overhaul, gosh, what the heck is this perk overhaul called? I forget. Anyway, we're playing with that. Gosh, I don't even know what to, okay, we're level 37, apparently. Apparently. Vanquisher says, oh, also, Nick, your PS message in my holiday card got me working OT on my game. Hey, hey, hey. I wasn't trying to put any pressure on you, but I'm just trying to get the exploration demo out to you. Well, whenever it comes, I'll be happy to check it out, but no no pressure. Anyway, I want it to be something that you, you enjoy doing, of course. I'm all back. I'm glad you liked the mic scratches too. What build was this supposed to be? This was supposed to be a sneaky stabby build where we would sneak up behind fools and stab them in the back but um that proved to be difficult especially when uh, there are so many dudes in my party uh, oh gosh oh no my guys are no get out of the fire you guys no stop it stop it Chakram is freaking just incinerating over there. Oh my god, bro. Bro, get out of the fire. What are you guys doing? Inigo, no, get out of the fire. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Um, originally, I was going to play a character that was sneaky and stabby and an alchemist. So we were going to poison our blades and then we were going to stab fools. But it just proved to be, because I thought that would be like a really good like ASMR kind of thing. Quiet, you know. But it turned out to be, oh, hello, Glon Crab. It turned out to be too much work, <laughs> really. Um, and so instead, uh, I mostly just run into people's faces and stab them repeatedly. Charlie Rutherford. Hey, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. It's nice to have you here. <laughs> this lady. Wait, what? Uh. Oh, why are my characters fighting each other now? <laughs> this psychopath lady. 
the rest of my party just freaking murdered here. <laughs> She's just bleeding out on the ground now. When she gets back up, are they going to try and kill her again? Where, where are you going? I'm pretty sure she's a story critical NPC. <laughs> Yo, lady, what? What are, what are you doing back here? Hello? Come on. Um, lady, chill. What are you doing? Nobody's attacking you. Well, we weren't anyway. Now they are. Uh, uh, the original Freedom Fry, thank you for the bits over here on Twitch. Uh, I appreciate you coming on over from the YouTube chat to the Twitch. Sorry, I wasn't intending to ignore you. I just was trying to figure out what the heck was going on with that NPC. Hopefully, it's not a problem that she's just left us. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I guess she's not with the party anymore. <laughs> Wait, who are you? Oh, Fulmer Skulker? Okay. Get wrecked. Uh, but, Ritual Freedom Ride, thank you very much for the 30 biddies. That's very, very kind of you. Completely unsolicited. I appreciate it. And welcome to the Twitch chat. Drake says, I'm going to head out. Thanks for the stream. Hope the rest of it goes well. Drake, thank you for being here. Thank you for your kind service. I don't know what's going on here. What is even happening? What is going on? Yo. This freaking lady, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know if this is what like something's supposed to happen or what. Cause she seems to be Okay, now everyone's attacking everyone. What is going on? I think we're gonna have to quick load this. Cause something's really broken here. Now they've all turned against Albert Thor. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Drake, have a great night. Thank you for your kind assistance in the chat. Thank you for giving so kindly of your time to make sure that this place is a better place. We owe you so very much. Uh, please, y'all, make sure while this madness goes on on screen here that you, that you go follow our boy. Goddess. Hey, Samarcus. Uh, here on Twitch. Very much deserved. Uh, you will love the chill vibes over there. Please, go go follow our boy, Drake. Uh, and you have a great night, Drake. Sleep well. Say hello to your lovely fiancé from me. And give your puppers and pets. From us. Um... Alright, good night, take spring. We'll catch you later. This is ridiculous. Okay, we're just loading. We're loading. I think we're probably just okay, we're loading right where we came back into dim frost here. That's okay, we didn't miss much. What the heck? What is going on? Now I can't load. What is happening? If you first row da them, it might reset them. Maybe. If you butt roda them. Butt roda. Yo, what? Vextrip McGee. Thank you for the thousand biddies. That's quite a few biddies. That's very, very, very kind of you. Vextrip McGee says, I love Skyrim and ASMR. This is Pog. Except for the fact that we've made zero progress because all of my party decided to start murdering the rest of my party. This has happened once or twice before. And I think it's a bug with one of my follower mods that probably increases the cap uh but uh i think something's not quite working right sometimes because yeah 
Once upon a time, my entire party turned against my dog, and that was really sad. They all attacked Miko, and that was awful. Oh my gosh, Naga. Naga out there gifting a sub to Vextra McGee. Vextra McGee, welcome on into the sub club. Very well deserved, especially after such a generous cheer. Naga, thank you. Thank you for welcoming on uh, in Vextra McGee. Vextra McGee, I'm um, a tap on this potato to celebrate your arrival in our spud buds. Our potato pals, our tater tots, you are now one of the potato gang. You can use the very highly sought after spinning potato emote in the chat whenever you like now, courtesy of Naga. Super kind. Hey, thank you all for welcoming in Vex so, so kindly. Can I call you Vex? Is that okay? Or would you prefer the full name? It's whatever you, whatever you like. Kuros says, open up the console and click on everyone fighting, then type in stop combat. This happens when NPCs, especially mages, hit your other allies too often. That is actually really good to know. I will do that the next time it inevitably happens. Thank you, Kuro. Okay, start the Crimson Nerd request again. Yada. Okay. original freedom prices it just works to be fair to be fair this thing is pretty modded so i can't be too mad that the mods are causing problems that's not really on the original developers so but this kind of stuff happens in the base game a lot too so there is that so many deep moths Attractive says Elberthor is just staring point blank into the screen. <laughs> Help! As everyone decides to murder him. It's true. Ah, ghost crab. This lady is nuts. This lady is unhinged. She's not safe. Oh. I don't even know where we're going or what we're looking for here, you guys. Just going. We just going. Lots of lava down here. Black Reach often ends up this way, huh? Where you're just like, I don't know, I'm just going somewhere, but who knows where? Oh, these mushrooms got knocked over. But it's such a big, like, cavernous space, and, and all the corners are so dark, it's very easy to miss out on stuff. Witchblade Greaves. Oh, those are cool. Check them out. Staff of Fear. Ooh, healing potion. Always useful. Oh gosh. Nice. We good? Okay, we're good. I don't think they're attacking each other. What the heck? Yo! Original Freedom Fry, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the Sub Club. It's now your turn to receive the potato taps and to get officially welcomed into the Tater Tots, the Potato Pals, the Spud Buds, which is a long and storied uh, name history. There have been many Spud Buds over the years, and you are now part of that grand tradition. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your kind support. I do hope that you enjoy your subscription benefits. Thank you for uh, for helping to grow and strengthen this community that we have here, Freedom Fry. It is a wonderful to have you with us. Wonderful to have you with us. Definitely potato tap time. Vex is burp, okay. Vex it shall be. 
practice says everything gets uh, everything looks the same down here it's always so easy to get lost it's true it's so true i know people kind of dislike black reach for that reason i think it's neat but i do find it kind of overwhelming sometimes for sure for sure gosh burning charred corpses here brutal as i take its ear no big deal oh, what's this dim frost and amunculatory okay why don't we keep cruising around this big cavern and then we'll come back here stop calling him a stupid dog i think there's a mod to fix that and i keep meaning to download it here i'm gonna look it up right now and see if i can find the mod because i i want him to stop calling him a stupid dog uh a mod here we go smart no more stupid dog comments <laughs> stops friendly npcs from saying stupid dog to your follower dogs adopted pets and dogs friendly towards the player no more stupid dog comments thank you i really appreciate that this is a thing i'm definitely gonna download this that's important it's an important fix Miko is not a stupid dog. Miko is a very good, smart dog. Karja is a stupid Khajiit. Dawn's Eternal Light says, while I made it to gameplay, I, uh, last, I must, la at last must head to bed. <laughs> for some reason, that was very hard for me to parse. Uh, Dawn's Eternal Light, I'm glad you made it to at least a little bit of gameplay for your second time ever. And I hope you can catch the rest of it in the mod. It was wonderful to have you here with us. I hope that you get some good sleep. I hope that you enjoy chilling with us. Always a pleasure. Have a great night. Sleep well. And I hope you wake up feeling refreshed, relaxed, and ready to face the week. Take care. Uh, okay. Okay. Wow, this guy just got wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Nope, that was it. Just the one sad fall. <laughs> Let's mine some geodes. Kuro says, uh, speaking about the bug that we just encountered, it's a problem with who's allied with whom. They're all your allies, but not necessarily allies with each other. So when they start hitting each other, especially mages with their AoE spells, they might start fighting, similar to the player hitting a friendly NPC. Once or twice is an accident, and they don't turn hostile the third time. is considered deliberate hostility. That makes sense. Seems like an obvious thing that they would want to account for in the game logic, but, you know, sometimes Skyrim do be that way. The obvious things are not necessarily accounted for. Uh, Oi, five string, welcome. How you doing? Good to see you. Wait, did my character's stomach just growl? We're probably getting a hockey. Mildly hungry, mildly thirsty, and a bit fatigued. Okay, well, we can still have a little sneaky snack. Some baked potatoes, how appropriate. And maybe a carrot, you know. And uh, a whole cabbage for good measure. Okay, we're still hungry apparently. And a whole loaf of bread. Okay, now now we're well fed. That's not mildly hungry. An entire baked potato, an entire carrot, an entire cabbage, an entire loaf of bread. That's not mildly hungry. That's extremely hungry, hungry hippos. Uh, Freedom Price says, what mod are you playing through right now? This is Worm's Tooth. Worm's Tooth. Uh, and it's a really cool mod in that... Okay, here's another way into the, the animunculatory. It's a cool mod in that um, 
it feels quite lore friendly like it's clear that the author went to great lengths to make all the new areas feel quite a bit like uh you know default original skyrim like it feels like it could be official dlc you know uh vex says the npcs sound like eustace from courage the cowardly dog i've never seen courage the cowardly dog so i'm afraid i don't i don't necessarily know the reference but oh oh Shark room chill. That was actually pretty badass kill cam because my dude went in for the next stab right while the fireball was hitting. It was pretty cinematic. Um, Kuro says, This is Bethesda tech we're working with. It's held together with matchsticks and gasoline soaked rags. Fairly accurate, actually. Um, they cut those are some serious munchies, our track tip. Some serious munchies. Oh god, and I was like, what the heck is this? I was like, oh, that's, that's a friendly Atronach. Um, oh, I see a Falmer down there. Maybe we can actually do what we're supposed to do and sneak up on it. What do you think? I think we can go do that. Let's try it. Let's try and play our character the way we originally intended. I feel like it's unlikely. We've got too many freaking dudes rolling with us here. Okay, well, they've seen my allies, but we're still hidden. <laughs> okay, well, they're all dead. So there's that, you know. <laughs> this is why I don't bother. Also, my allies definitely hit like a freaking truck, so they do most of the heavy lifting around here, let's be real. Let's be real. Uh, Vanquisher, any updates on the custom reward? Not as such, not as such. Uh, I did download a couple pieces of software that I thought were gonna do what I needed, and then, and then I promptly did not check them out so but thank you for the reminder i'll see if i can check it out this weekend next weekend because you've been waiting for a very long time you know who else has been waiting for a very long time drake mighty draconis has been waiting on wait dragon soul i'm pretty sure we just murdered a falmer and just got a dragon soul I'm not quite sure what that means, but this Falmer might not be what he seems. <laughs> yeah, this mod list is definitely, definitely coming apart of the seams. It's as the longer we play, the funkier things get. I mean, it's still playable, but for how long, who knows? Ooh, what's this about? Um, uh, free to fry. Thank you. You have a good one too. What the heck is going on? Why am I? What is happening? Uh, free to fry. Once again, welcome on into the sub club. It was really kind of you to join. I hope we see you again sometime soon. Take care. Oh gosh. What is happening? music started but I don't see anyone hmm. nice where do you think this goes the steam pools oh up on the surface okay we'll have to check that out but I want to find out why we're in combat first he was the dragonborn <laughs> that former right there yeah now we're just straight up absorbing former souls uh, Bolos, welcome. Welcome on in. Good to see ya. What's the name of Bolos land? Luke says, this keyboard is so tingly. I love the foggy clickies. It is really nice. 
nice board and it's pretty reasonable for what it is it's one of the reasons it's uh one of my faves from last year Mel Geek really knocked it out of the park with this one hmm. okay you know what well let's let's head on up there it'll take us back to the surface i think let's woof some hairy man pecs hairy orc pecs Could you stop standing so close to me, please, lady? <laughs> personal bubble, if you ever heard personal space. Um, Sargon asks if Thunder, Thunder Child is in your mod list. Yes, it is. That would be why, then. Yes, I have Thunder Child in this mod list. That makes so much sense. Thank you for that, uh, that clarity. So it is acting as intended. Oh. Okay, and we're back at the steam pools. Gotcha, gotcha. Wait, what? Are you telling me we, we can't get back down? And now half my crew is stuck in there? What is going on here? Also, who the heck are they? Uh, you good guys? You bad guys? Adventurers. That's generic adventurers, okay. Um, oh wait, is the other side open maybe? Oh. Nope, that's not it. Um, well this is incredibly awkward. Okay, I guess we're not going to come up that because <laughs> we're not getting back down. Uh, alright, let's quick load. Let's quick load. No way we're going all the way back. A long way. Um, uh, Yasuru says, I like to develop a game. Are you uh, a game developer by trade or just a hobbyist? Or is it just something you'd like to get into? Oh, hey, Ian. It's Vex over on the YouTube side of things. You are welcome to hang out in whichever chat you prefer. Of course. Of course. Um. Vanquisher says, this is where I call it. Unfortunately, I got head into work. Have a great morning at work. A great day at work. I hope it is a nice, easy day. I hope it's just straightforward. I hope you get off uh, on time and uh, you get to enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, and hopefully, I stream on Thursday and hopefully we see you there. Uh, Actually, says Thursdays are days I can currently attend a full stream with your work schedule. Well, I'll try to make it happen for you, Vanquisher. I mean, for everyone else too, but for you too, for you as well. Uh, have a good one. Take care. Sleep well. And we'll see you next time. No, wait. Not sleep. You're not sleeping. You're going to work right now. Everyone else is going to sleep. You're going to work. Have a good day at work. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this place just keeps going. I don't know, you guys. Maybe we should go to that Dwemer, Dwemer and Amunculatory. Just back this way. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. Love it. Do you think we can get up up there somehow? This looks like it goes up away. So there's a door up here. Where was this one to the animoculatory? This probably was. Yeah, I think it totally was. Okay, well maybe we should go here. Sure, let's do it, why not? <laughs> don't judge. Some of us are just born generic adventurers. I'm sorry. I should not. I should not uh, deride people for being a basic. <laughs> um. Oh no! Was my dog stuck in the wall? <laughs> Poor puppers. Mm-hmm. Seems legit. 
What do you think is going to happen, you guys? Oh, nothing. I was really sure that it was going to trigger a trap. But apparently not. Everybody. <laughs> no skills out there with the posture check as well. Oh, thank you for that. Always need to just roll them shoulders back. Open up the chest, you know, instead of hunching forward. Ugh, I spent too much time hunching. It's not good for me. Um, yo, Lanzer, thank you for joining us in the Twitch side of things. Uh, it's always when people are jumping back and forth between Whoa! That was scary, y'all. Unexpected. Um, both chats are actually pretty quiet right now. Pretty quiet. We've reached that part of the night where things are winding down. People are generally getting sleepy or just dozing, lurking. Hey, but Faye has just followed on Twitch. Thank you very much, Faye. Welcome on in. At least one person is awake, it would seem. Uh, much appreciated. Thanks for joining us. Uh, gosh, where are we going? What is this place? Skyrim is fantastic. Lancer, Skyrim is so good. After all these years, Attractive says, I'm enjoying watching you play the game. That's right, when it gets quiet, I actually can play the game. And then, those of you who actually enjoy the gameplay, <laughs> then you're eating well. Usually happens very late in the stream. And I like it both ways. I like the chatty part of the stream, and I like the gameplay part of the stream. So, it's all good. And it's only 7 p.m. in Australia for Attractive right now. Probably not for all of Australia. I imagine there are time zones in Australia. It's a pretty big country. Hmm. Finster, hey, what's up? I'm doing well. We're just chilling, playing some Skyrim. Overthinks is still there in the chat. Not awake yet. We're not asleep yet. Probably still just overthinking. Faye says, lol, can't sleep watching for a bit now. Well, thank you for lurking, and thank you for the follow after the lurk. I appreciate that. It's nice to have you on board with us here. Uh, excuse me, Alberthor. Excuse me, Alberthor. Holy cow. Accurate. Accurate, Inigo. Alberthor just slowly pushing me up the hill. Uh, which way do we go? This place is kind of wild. Now I got you love the late night portion because this is the portion where I actually get some gameplay done, right? Can we get into here? Is there any reason to get into here? I guess not. I guess not. Is there anything over here? I guess not. Most of Australia's desert, says Bolos. Yeah, I guess. I haven't been there, but I, I believe that to be true. But still, even in a desert, you kind of need time zones, right? There's probably some people somewhere out there. I bet. Oh, we're up above where we came in. Attractus has just finished setting up my gaming area at my new place, so I'm gonna download Skyrim tomorrow and have a chill day if it's raining. Oh, that sounds so nice. That sounds like a lovely time. By the way, I hope the move went well. I know you were saying that uh, you were having to really downsize for a bit and get rid of a bunch of your stuff, so I hope that that wasn't too awful. Like, I hope you're able to now expand back into a, a nice space and feel comfortable again. Literally no one lives in the desert in Australia. 
according to Bolos. Our tractor says I live along the coast, but you could say this summer feels like I live in the desert. It doesn't get humid along the coast. Oh, this is spooky. Hello there, former Shadow Master. Ooh. <laughs> that's not our fire. That's that's trap fire. You guys could, you know, not stand there if you wanted. That is an option. <laughs> he just gets freaking burned down. Oh my god, my allies are idiots. Absolute ignoramuses. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in there. Sure, we'll take it all. <laughs> also, I love that Miko can stand there and not trigger the trap. <laughs> or not uh, get hit by the trap, because it goes over his head. And an empty chest. Okay, alright, okay. Okay. Smart doggo. None of the rest are smart, though. No skills. Yeah, winter time is definitely sleepy vibes. Oh my gosh. So much lava. My team is gonna die in here because I'm gonna fall into the lava. They're not smart enough to not. Can they do it? Can they do it? I believe in y'all. This place is intense. Oh, wow, okay. That's not a safe place. Uh, my party is absolutely going to trigger these traps. There's no question about it. There it goes. says yeah the move went well uh thank you currently living in a granny flat slash shed in the countryside it's beautiful feels so nice out in uh, to be out in nature i bet you i bet you it's quite idyllic swimming in the creeks and just exploring a lot we throw out about 80 percent of what we own it was pretty freeing i believe it i bet you it would be uh very difficult to do but once it's done that would probably feel yeah, liberating in a way. That's good. That's good. Clean living. Clean living. To be sure. Man, these stone beds in these places always look so hilariously uncomfortable. Being in nature is my favorite place. And yeah, it's been super humid lately. We get a lot of summer storms and they're super gross. Yeah, that's one thing. I'm really glad we don't have to deal with so much here. It's the extreme humidity. Like, we're on the coast, so it's humid, but we rarely get hot and humid at the same time. So it makes it a little more, a little more manageable. Just hilariously uncomfortable looking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was unexpected. I was like, let me look at this. And then it just freaking incinerates us all. And then I went and did it again. Not, not 
not safe. The Dwemer were nuts. Miko blocking my way out. Woof woof, I can't let you go. Faces, the dwarven traps always get me. Yeah, they're all not always so easy to see, and then of course there's always the problem of your team of idiot uh, companions who just step on every trap. Yeah, every trap. I have no idea where we're going. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. This is probably the other door for this place that we, we found. Because we found two ways into this area. But, uh, let's just finish exploring around here first. Hmm. It's like a whole set of dwarven armor. We really don't need it, but... And all these dwarven metal ingots. That's pretty cool, though. They give you, like, a complete set. There's a helmet back in the other room, which we also really don't need, but I don't think we actually picked it up. Oh, that's a trap. Bruce's, uh, you know you're scraping the bottom of the AI barrel when your chief concern is, okay, nobody purposefully walk in a pit of lava or stomp all over. <laughs> I'm just sitting here doing my thing, and they decided to roll in here. I mean, I can't be too mad at them. They do generally get things done. They do a lot of murdering on my behalf, but they're they're still idiots. Absolute idiots. Chorus egg. back here. Oh. Hmm. Oh, psh. What are we stairs here? Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> just having a little sit down, eh? Just a little, just a little rest. That's the night light. <laughs> Corbloxian says, cold humidity is icky at times, but weirdly nostalgic somehow. Uh, did you grow up somewhere that was often cold and humid, perhaps. <laughs> this is against OSHA regulations, 100%. Definitely cold nights. Bruce says, I love the fact that there's a rather large cashier in your party wearing a fez. Uh, actually, it's a third era Colobian for Elm, the height of Tamrielic fashion. That's an ego. He has the, the helm. Jeez, holy. This guy really likes to show off his pecs right in my face. And Argus also gets the third era of Colobium for helm. And then so does, so does, uh, uh, Mittens here. But, gosh, I forget. <laughs> um, but our other Kajit, wherever he is, Karjo, he just gets a pirate's tricorn. Which is pretty cool, but not as cool as a Colombian third era for him. Not as cool. It's true. As much as they do step on the traps all the time, they're actually pretty capable. Mostly, I just let them do their thing. Fireballs and sounds of carnage coming from the other room. Uh, I trust them to handle it. There we go. I got it done. <laughs> They're very good at killing. Turns out. Turns out. I barely have to lift a finger. 
Oh, here's a whole set of former armor too. Also garbage probably, but still kind of cool. For the aesthetic. Ooh, getting sleepy here, guys. I think I'm gonna have to call it pretty soon. Pretty soon. What is this? Oh, just like a skull pool. You know, just the pool where you throw all the skulls and the cups. Maybe the cups, or the, maybe the skulls are cups. A barbarian hero circlet, gold, steel dagger of dismay, and a knife. Just a generic knife. <laughs> you know. Man, this place keeps going. I really thought we were gonna be done here. Okay, I'm just gonna go check real quick if this does pop us back out where I think it does. Back this way. Naga says, you mean you guys don't have booby-trapped bedrooms? I mean, how else are you going to make sure the bad guys stay out? And the closet monsters? Attractive says, do we get Colovian for Helms on our Twitch avatars? You, you do. The three-month reward is Inigo wearing the Colovian for Helm. It's hard to tell, though, because it's kind of cut off. Yeah, okay, this is exactly where I thought it would pop us out. All right, let's go back in there. Yes, the three month uh, sub icon, sub badge, has been to go with the, the Colombian for help, for sure. Yeah, Fulmer are some of my, well, I don't, I don't hate them because they're difficult, I just hate them because they're gross, <laughs> which sounds like extremely xenophobic or something of me, but you can't lie or you can't deny <laughs> they are gross. Okay, dead end. <laughs> she just stands there, face into the, getting blasted in the face with fire by the trap. That's all you've got? Like standing there getting your face blasted with fire? Oh my gosh. Uh, faces, Lolly walked up to you like, are you proud father? May I have a cookie? <laughs> they really do. What the heck is going on in here? Whoa. Huh. <laughs> it almost pushed me off the edge. Did you see that? Oh wait, is there actually a way down here? There is, okay. Uh, let's finish looking around up here. It's true though, they go and they do all their murdering and then they come trotting back. They're like, hey, <laughs> we're done. Death dealt. Fools murdered. All right, what is going on in here? Oh, Falmer, that's what's going on in here. Yo, what's up, Stoner Shen? How you doing? Shane over on YouTube says, what to watch first, the stream or the new Lego building video? Well, that is entirely up to you, my friend. Whatever you like. But I will say that the Lego building video is always going to be there. The stream. The stream's ephemeral. Well, actually, the stream's going to be here, too. The VOD will be available. But, there's nothing like being there in the moment, you know? Nothing up here, okay. Uh, when the stream is live, that's when it's exciting. No offense to you VOD watchers, if you're watching this VOD, we love you too. We appreciate you, we see you. Well, not literally, but you know, 
I feel you in the future. Um, so yeah, Shane, I don't know. <laughs> I guess the answer is it's whatever floats your boat. But I do hope you like the Lego video if you decide to watch that. You're right. There's nothing like the moment. Be here with us in the moment, Shane. Gosh, I have no idea where this is going. Kuro says if they weren't meant to be stabbed, then why do they look so stabbable? Every single NPC in Skyrim. Yo, what's up, Tech Gadget? How you doing? What time is it anyway? Oh, it's getting late. It's getting real late. It's later than I thought it was. I should definitely wrap this up. But I kind of wanted to get to, like, the end of something here. I don't really know where we're going. But I feel like... A filter of lock picking. I feel like we're trying to get somewhere. <laughs> and we're not there yet. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> Yo, I just chopped that guy in the crotch in a very cool kill move. That was extremely intimidating and yet very, very easy. <laughs> Literally over in seconds. We got to look badass at least. That was pretty fun. So definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. What the frick is this? What the frick is this? That was utterly anticlimactic. It really was. Uh, Bruce asked what you're editing in. Uh, I use a piece of software called uh, Cyberlink Power Director, which I've used for many years. And I like it because it's just about the right level of complexity for what I do. I don't need all the like professional tools necessarily, um, but uh, for my purposes, PowerDirector works pretty well. But I have thought about learning DaVinci Resolve. Um, uh, I know that people do like it quite a bit. I also know it's probably a hell of a lot more than I actually need. Uh, but how are you finding it so far? Mountain Bikers requested a keyboard swap. A keyboard swap. Mountain Biker, what? I swap to for you. I don't think I ever hydrated uh, with no skills request. I've got my uh, Kirkland orange mango sparkling beverage here. Um, Mountain Biker, do you have a specific kind of keyboard you would like to see or hear? Any keyboard you want. All right then. I think I know what I'll do. Just give me one second. I'll Uh, attractive any exciting plans this week um lots of work <laughs> got a busy day tomorrow and uh and then like i was saying earlier in the stream my mom's going in for a knee replacement surgery this week so at least some of the time it's going to be helping her back into uh, her place and um Spelling off my dad and my brother, just making sure that she has, you know, food and water and whatever she needs uh, while she is bed bound and her her knee recovers. So it'll be a busy week in that sense, I think. But uh, any keyboard, just not not that one. Which one? We don't even know which keyboard I'm switching to yet, Bolos. Uh, I'm gonna switch away from the. Uh, Melodic Modern 97 here. And I'm going to switch over to my favorite sounding board of last year. My favorite sounding board of last year. Listen to that. It's not just delightful. Uh, 
this is the Wind Studio Sign 65, and it is gorgeous and slightly dust. <laughs> I have not used it for a little bit, but beautiful ripple effect, steel weight on the back, fun little features like the sign of X graph there, beautiful solid aluminum case, and uh, these lovely EPBT Glacier keycaps with the SOTC raindrop linear switches. A lovely board, both aesthetically and sonically. Extremely smooth. Extremely smooth. Uh, avoid Kid Cat. Hello, by the way. Yo, Baxter. Baxter is tired there. It took me a minute to figure out what to do. Uh, Baxter is tired. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. And uh, you know what? If you're tired, you're in the right place. There's lots of sleepy heads here. So it's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, you like that board, Naga? Uh, okay, let me stop the spinning here. <laughs> Sorry. Big spinny. Um, Shane says, sending love for your mom. Thank you. Wishing her speedy recovery. Thank you. I will let her know that the internet wishes her a speedy recovery. Specifically Shane, but probably others too. With the entire good wishes of the internet uh, behind her. How could she possibly not have a speedy and effective recovery? Whoa. Seems sus. <laughs> I don't like the look of this at all. What do you guys think? Uh, dwarven paralysis rod? What? Oh god, what are we fighting? Falmer? Alright, just got ambushed, is that what happened there? Turns out, it was not very effective. <laughs> is there anything else in here worth, worth taking? Gold and bone meal. Just gold and bone meal. Some gold ingots here. Coin purses. Well, I guess this is the end of the line. It's a little anticlimactic after all that. We come into this giant, scary vault. And then there's really not much of anything in here, huh? Just some gold ingots, pretty much. Revi on Rio, thank you for the follow. Welcome to this year's stream. Nice to have you with us. Okay, well, I guess that's that's that. Um, Tech Edge has just requested a what you watching. Uh, Tech Gadget, that is very timely because just the other week I finally got my home theater situation uh, set up in there, which I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, so I got, um, yo, bro, what you doing over here? Are you okay? Is Aether okay? Guys. <laughs> I don't know if it is okay. Um, oh gosh, it's dark. No, not a stupid dog. Miko's a good dog. I have to get that mod. Uh, it really was a trap, Void Kitty Cat, but not a very effective trap, I gotta say. 
Um, yeah, so I've got a projector, uh, the BenQ X3000i, or 3100i, 3000 i uh, in case anyone's curious. Uh, it's really nice, does 4K HDR, um, and we got a projector screen, which sits up above our gas fireplace, and so we can pull it down, and it covers that, that whole part of the wall, uh, but we don't have to, like, mount a TV up there. It's nice, because it just rolls away. I have a ceiling mounted. And then, uh, I got a nice pair of, uh, edifier speakers, and, um, they're wireless, it's Bluetooth, so no cables from the projector to the speakers. Um, they're a nice 2.1 set with a really nice fat subwoofer, um, and they sound fantastic. So I'm really happy with how it all came together. And so uh, <laughs> we we haven't had that much opportunity to watch too much on it, but uh, we have been watching uh, what we do in the shadows. because so we started that series like, I don't know, a year ago, and then we, uh, we kind of uh, fell off it, but we're getting back into it, and that show is really funny. Uh, we're almost on the first season, um, but it's basically like vampire dark comedy, if anybody <laughs> doesn't know what it is, but it's, it's pretty goofy. It's pretty goofy. Uh, well, uh, I think we're gonna, I'm just gonna quick, quick save here, or maybe like a full full save. But, uh, Tech Cat just says, dang, that's nice. Hey, what we do in the shadows is amazing. It's so funny. Favorite character so far? Um, I mean, I like, you know, I like Nandor and Guillermo because they're ridiculous. Uh, and I feel so bad for poor Guillermo. Um, and Nandor is just great. But, uh, I also I have a love-hate thing for Colin Robbins. <laughs> because, obviously, he's intended to be like hard to handle but uh i like him because he's hilarious and he reminds me of somebody that i worked with <laughs> which is kind of the whole point i guess um but uh also yeah he is pretty hard to handle sometimes uh but very fun um nadja of course i mean whatever i'm just listing off the characters now but they're all pretty funny they're all pretty funny I think if I had to pick one character, I think Guillermo is my favorite. I really like how he's acted. He's done very well. It's super funny. Yeah, definitely worth worth watching. We were watching it on, I don't know, Canadian streaming is weird. I think we're watching it on Crave. But I don't know if y'all get Crave anywhere else. Sarah's running water somewhere, in case anyone's wondering. In the bathroom, it would sound like. Or it would seem like. Um, well, friends, I think I better wrap this up. Uh, we're coming up on, gee, almost four hours. It's getting very late here for me. Uh, so it's definitely time for me to call it a night. I have a busy day of work ahead. Uh, thank you all for coming on by, for joining me here. Oh, hold on one second. That's really squeaky, dear. One moment, please. Apparently, we have a bit of an incident. A toilet has overflowed. So, I'm going to go deal with that and wish you all a good night. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Uh, and uh, I will see you hopefully this Thursday. Hopefully I can stream on Thursday. We shall see. Um, but uh, the place to find out is over uh, on the Discord. I will always announce it on the Discord uh, on the, the day earlier or on the day of. And... Uh, also, I usually announce it on my Twitter uh, and Facebook as well, because apparently I still post on Facebook. I don't know. Um, yes, Terry, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see what the damage is. 
<laughs> yes, butt spot. Thank you, butt Nick. Um, but hey, it was great hanging out with you all. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. And before we wrap it up here, let's go raid. Uh, let's go do that quick because it's just it's just polite. I don't know what that sound was. Things getting scary out there. Okay, uh, I'm going to let's go read Amy Pie. She's got a bajillion viewers right now, but it's been a long time since we've seen her, uh, since we went and read it. So let's go visit Amy Pie. Uh, and she's fantastic. She's super tingly, super nice. Her community is super awesome. Y'all will love it if you've never been before. Come on in when you get over there. Feel free to follow if you like what Amy Pie's doing. I'm sure you will. She is a Twitch ASM artist OG, I'm going to say. And uh, you will be in good hands. And these good vibes will continue. Uh, on the YouTube channel, if you all are interested, I've got a Lego video up tonight, which I think is pretty tingly, so hopefully you all will enjoy. And uh, aside from that, have a wonderful week. Uh, thanks all for being here, for choosing to spend some time hanging out, making this community better, just by you being here. A big, big thank you, of course, to our awesome moderators. Could not do this without them, for real. The time they give is invaluable. And I will see you all, like I said, hopefully Thursday. If not then, then next Sunday. All right. Good night, friends. Thanks for being here. Good night, Attractive. Naga, Sargon, Sirena, Shane, <laughs> uh, Stoner Shannon, we'll catch you next time.